Hey everybody, just for fun, tomorrow is the new patch, which usually would be the Golden Apple Archipelago. I believe this year it isn't that, but it still involves Klee. I was wondering, some people have been telling me that there's more desert, so my guess would be perhaps it would be here. Or what I'm basing it on is that since Klee is there, it's probably going to be in Mondstadt somewhere. I could see this moving further. I'm not entirely sure. I'm just going to guess Mondstadt because Klee, I'm going to go to the Knights headquarters. All right, seems good to me. Jean and Klee will be here for sure. I knew it. I knew it. We should go pay a visit to oh. the Knights of Avonias when we have a moment. What? Oh. Hmm. Wait. Wonder what's up this time. Yo. My guess was on points? Wonder what's up this time. Oh, wow. <laughs> the most underwhelming login screen ever. Go to quest. Watch the- My god. I'm so good. I haven't even done an intro yet. Let's do that first. Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Today is the, I mean, the last patch I assume of Sumeru. I just realized there's a really cool painting there of Monsta. That's crazy. <laughs> Today's the last day of, or the last patch of Sumeru, I assume. It was supposed to be like Golden Apple Archipelago in my head because it involves Klee again, but might be total baloney. So let's see it. We did get sent to Jean as I predicted with my massive cranium. Who would have thought? We'll see what it's all about this year. I'm excited to find out. And I hope you are too. Okay, wonderful. So then we can queue the quest back up. It is called An Invitation from Afar, which makes sense. We're going to a crazy island, a mysterious missive on paper wings. You know what? It's all set up again. Wow, they all spawned in. Dude, Kaya, Klee, Jean. What's up, gang? Hello. Hey, Jean, we're here. We came so quick. It's like I knew you would call me. Ah, Paimon and the Traveler. I've been waiting for you. Oh, that's so not personal. Looks like Jean wasn't the only one waiting for us. Uh-huh. Klee and Kaya are here too. Unbelievable. Oh, it's Paimon and Miss Honorary Knight. That's so much cuter. Thank you, Klee. It's so long. <laughs> it's been a bit. Ah, look who it is. Hello. That's cold. You've caught me completely off guard this time. Nah, just know But that. then again, it's always a pleasant surprise when you two show up. You're fake. <laughs> I, yeah, fair. I don't think we've ever knocked in this game, though. Uh, wait a sec. You weren't talking about anything that we're not supposed to hear, were you? <laughs> oh, so no one here ordered Good Hunter? Uh, sorry, must have gotten the wrong address. Hey, stop pretending like we're doing food delivery. <laughs> it's been a while since we last met. I missed that I event. see you two haven't changed one bit. How do you, what, no, I'm eternally small i'm 500 years old don't worry we weren't discussing anything confidential okay in fact we were just talking about you i feel like i'm in a position where you would tell me confidential stuff no maybe we should let the star of the story explain it in their own words oh no. yeah let me tell it let me tell it <laughs> so does klee ever get older either a few days ago i was reading Dodoko tales in the solitary <laughs> confinement room of course all of a sudden Oh. A letter came flying in through the window. That's wild. Flying through the window? How does the letter flap? Yeah, we're in Mondstadt, City of Wind. Like what do you mean? Does. It was flapping its wings. It oh. Even oh. It's Never Lie Arnold's cousin. Always fly Bob. I can't call them Bob again. I call everything Bob. It said, um, well, it was a bunch of stuff I didn't understand. Okay. You couldn't understand? And it must have been talking about how to avoid solitary confinement. <laughs> Come on, that was pretty good. Um, Kaya? Yeah. Just saying. We don't want to let a teachable moment He's right. slip by. He's right. 100% right. <sighs> okay, I know. Anyway, the letter <laughs> said, Oh, Klee, are you behaving? <laughs> I see you've wound up in the solitary confinement room again. <laughs> <laughs> um... Sorry about that. Um, I don't know if I can forgive you anymore. You're doing this a bit often. Mommy is busy these days and can't take you out to play. For the third year in a row. News. I have a friend who has very kindly invited you to visit her. Mommy Alice is getting milk and we'll be back, maybe. Oh, so the letter's from Alice. That sounds great, doesn't it? I don't know. In principle, Rather see her yes. in person. But the issue is that Alice's friend lives quite far from here. Oh my god, from the Hexen Circle? Mm -hmm. The letter says that Mom's friend lives in Sumeru. Wild. The Knights of Favonius could never agree to send Klee off to Sumeru on her own. Mm -hmm. But Klee is rather intent on taking Alice's friend <laughs> on her wiggle. invitation. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Stop wiggling. <laughs> yeah, I really want to go. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, you see, so we were wondering, Me. who can we send with her on the journey? Mm -hmm. Preferably someone who's a reliable hero and has uh, a history of saving monsters. Oh yeah, not me. Oh, so that's why you wanted to see us. You gotta babysit again. I do apologize, but Klee gets along with you I so well. I do apologize, my ass. We couldn't think of a more suitable choice. So you're not even coming either? <sighs> sure, we can do that, no problem, right? Sure. <laughs> can you really miss honorary night? <laughs> JK, no we can't. She starts crying. I'm sorry. <laughs> Of course. Yay! With Miss Honorary Knight around, Klee's not afraid of anything! That's not good, you're gonna blow up everything! See, I told you that she'd agree. In that case, we'll leave Klee in the trusty hands of the Traveler. Okay. And you too, Kaya. Uh, you should join them. <laughs> I noticed you quietly completed that backlog of paperwork we had. Wow. You deserve the chance to unwind a little. As if you would see this as holidays. Oh, so you noticed. Oh. Well then, I suppose I have no reason to refuse. All the Kaya Sims in the chat screaming. Great! Things will go even more smoothly Thrilled. <laughs> Still, Sumeru is pretty far. It's gonna be a long journey. It's really not that bad. Inazuba is further away. Don't worry. Mom's letter oh. had a magic invite inside. No way. Mom says oh. we just have so cute. to all shout out where we want to go at the same time. Oh my god. Poof, we'll be there in the blink of an eye. Three, two, one. Celestia! <laughs> wow. Well, that'll definitely make things easier. Uh huh. It only works three times, though. Oh. So we should only use it when we really need to. Wow. Bold prediction time, guys. I can't believe it. We're going to save one of them and we're going to use it to escape the crazy card box dragon at the end of the quest. One for the way Three's there, a one for the way back, and one extra, just for good measure. Right, for good measure. Sounds very mysterious. Still think we should use it sparingly. Let's just not use it. Maybe we're gonna teleport and we're gonna end up with tails and stuff, just like in Shrek. Remember that part in Shrek where they see Merlin? After all, we don't know the exact location of where we'll be headed, mm -hmm. or what dangers we may encounter on the way. You're right. Here's what I suggest. Traveler, you're well connected. Uh-oh. I'm sure you must have friends who are familiar with Sumeru. Okay. I say we start by teleporting to one of them. Well, I was spoiled by the launcher. We're teleporting to Kole. <laughs> It'll give us a chance to test out the magic invite and also find ourselves a local guide. Kole. That kind of makes sense. And since it has three uses, there's no point letting one of them go to waste. Uh-huh. Couldn't have put it better myself, Paimon. So, do you have a particular contact in the- Kole, definitely. <laughs> Well, we need someone who's familiar with Sumeru and there it is. our guide. So, sounds like we need a forest ranger. Mm-hmm. And everyone knows that the best place to go looking for a forest ranger is a little place called... I forgot what it's called, but thanks to this prompt, I know it's Kandarvaville. That's the one. Maybe we can get Tainari to help us. I'd, I'd like that. All right, Kandarvaville it is. Cool. Okay, I'm happy wherever we go. <laughs> <laughs> we should be on our way then. Wow. If you'll excuse us, acting Grandmaster. Bye, Jean. Yes, let the wind lead. Mm -hmm. I wish you a safe journey. And Klee... Don't blow shit up, or else. I know, I know. I'll be careful, I promise. Great! Okay, here goes nothing. Take us to... No, we all have to do it at the same time. Gondarvaville! No, that's not how it works. Gondarvaville. Oh, Gondarvaville. Bit late. Fontaine, Fontaine, Fontaine! Where Oh god. Huh? No, it's not a hill. Ah, <laughs> wow. But it's three versus one. Great Arbor Hill? Where the hell is Great Arbor Hill? No, oh, it's fine. We're there. <sighs> we made it. Paimon was sure we were about to end up someplace super weird. We are on a hill. <laughs> Sorry. It was an accident. I find it hard to believe, Klee. I find it hard to believe that you make this many mistakes. It's okay, Klee. Good news is this magic invite really does work. Yeah. We have waypoints, though, but I'm sure. Fascinating. One moment we're in Mondstadt, and next we're in Sumeru. Yeah, my average commissions. So this is where Mom's friend Two is? birds. Wow. There are so many big flowers. True. Oh, and jumpy mushrooms. Careful. They're evil. Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. Sumeru's full of strange stuff like this. Uh-huh. Like, um, 
tigers. Oh, boars. <laughs> Little flying silver fairies. Huh? Paimon doesn't remember seeing one of those. <laughs> uh, wait, are you talking about Paimon? No. Listen carefully, Klee. Those jumping mushrooms are called fungi. Mm-hmm. They may look cute, but if you get too close to one, it'll try to hit you with its cap. See, Kai is way better at this than us. Really? Okay. Well, I'll hit it back with my cap. <laughs> no, no. And then I'll hit it with the hood on my jacket, too. <laughs> I'll definitely win if it's two hats against <laughs> No, Klee, don't do it. As long as playing with hats doesn't escalate to playing with bombs. Oh, it will. Klee's our friend. So Burn down the whole forest. Convince her to keep this trip explosion free, right? No. Uh huh. I'll be extra careful not to blow anything <laughs> up. Um, I mean, I'll try my best. Get the bird. Ah, uh, that's very good of you, Klee. You're being very grown up today. Wow. <sighs> People give out compliments for no reason. Yep. I'm super grown up. Mm -hmm. I'm already the Spark Knight. Right. Okay, Spark Knight. Well. Keep up the good work, because very soon we'll be introducing you to a friend of ours called Tainari in Gondarvaville. Okay, exciting. Quest start. Oh, not even. Two birds. <laughs> uh, hey, look, it's Kare. Huh? And is that you, Lewis? Wow. What's she doing in Gondarvaville? What the? That is actually so random. Wait, it's not really random. The other forest rangers mentioned somebody dressed like that before. Because they're both friends with Amber. I see. Then it looks like my suspicions are correct. Hmm? Who do we have here? Your sworn enemies, vengeance. <laughs> huh? Oh, Kaya and Klee are here too. Hello. We uh we I I can't even Oh yeah, we're looking for Tainari. Chasing crime. Well, that question's really more for you, uh. What a coincidence. I didn't expect to run into a fellow Favonian captain this far from <laughs> Mondstadt. How's the vacation going? Not good. She's chasing enemies. Seriously? Bring the whole crew, why don't you? <laughs> Is it Paimon, or does Yula not look particularly thrilled right now? No, I'm definitely right. Uh, what, what, what a cup? Oh, cool. Great idea. Let's go. But Eula, though. If you're trying to accommodate me, there must be some misunderstanding. <laughs> I'm fine. There's nothing embarrassing about running into colleagues in the wild. <laughs> sure. Uh, but earlier you were... So chill. Great. Well, I'm sure there's a fascinating reason behind why you're all the way out here in Sumeru. Do share it with us. Uh-huh. Kaya sure looks like he's getting a kick out of this. Yeah, this classic Kaya. If you must know... It's a little complicated, but simply put, oh. I'm searching for a cousin of mine from the Lawrence clan. Really? He went missing recently, and after searching his home, we found evidence that led us here. He appears to believe that somewhere in Sumeru lies the key to restoring our clan to its former glory. I thought she'd completely given up on this Lawrence clan baloney during her own quest, which I have recorded from two years ago. <laughs> I still have it, I'm pretty sure. He came all the way to Sumeru for that? What was he going to do? Enroll at the Academia? That'd be quite the roundabout to achieve his goals. I doubt he came here to learn. He's much too old to start getting a basic education now. And from what I know of him, I doubt he has any interest in intellectual pursuits. Okay. All he cares about is restoring his clan's honor. Nothing wrong with that idea in principle. Sure. But I'm not certain how fanatical he is about it. So Fully determined. No knowing what lengths he might go to. Willing to kill the sages. As a knight and a member oh, of the Lawrence clan... It's my duty to make sure he doesn't bring harm to others. I see. Oh, ho. if this is true, then your cousin is quite a man of action. Traveling alone to Sumeru from Mondstadt is no mean feat. Maybe he had like a, a letter that teleports him if he says where he wants to go with three charges. Nor is daring to make me personally concerned about his safety. <laughs> he has no idea what's coming to him. Yep. You know, underneath it all, Paimon thinks you is a really caring person. Oh yeah, we're all shocked to learn it once more. Yeah, she's the best. She brought me some moon pie last time. <laughs> <clears throat> he is family, after all. Anyway, <laughs> That's cute. I will make sure to find him and escort him safely back to Mondstadt. Oh yeah, after this one. Now, back to you. How and why did you all suddenly show up here? Magic, finding a guide, quick and easy. You explain the situation to Eula and Kole. 
that could be tricky. Master Tainari is still at Partis the Eye delivering his lectures. Wow. Uh, he isn't due back for a while. All right. But I think I'll be able to help out. Sure. The description in the invitation letter is vague, but I'm pretty sure it's hinting at somewhere in the desert. Oh, imagine it's the other spot I said. No. In the desert. The desert. Hmm? Does that mean Mom's friend is from the desert? I guess I'll call her Auntie Desert for now. Okay. I remember Mahamatra Sino once told me a strange rumor about that part of the desert. Oh. They say there's a secret domain there that can make all of your wishes come true. Oh. Uh, wait, wait. He didn't believe in fairy tales. I, I, just I was gonna Sino. say this. I keep forgetting that. I was actually gonna say like Mahamatra Sino. Really? That's what, okay. Huh, a domain that makes people's wishes come true. Let's go, Eula. You're coming with us, right? Wow. So is it true? Does it really exist? That's hard to say. No one's ever found it yet. I probably would have believed it a few years ago. But now that I'm a little older and wiser, I think it makes sense to be more skeptical about things like this. So Kole right here is confirming that age is a thing. But like, if we met Klee, who can walk, run, and talk from the first moment we saw her three years ago, she must have been like four or five. So she's seven or eight now? In three years, will we actually have a grown-up Klee? This explains a lot. The domain could well be a myth, but he probably figured Figured he had nothing to lose. Sure. If you intend to search for this place, then please allow me to join you. Of course. My cousin has quite a collection of books about Sumeru desert mythology on his shelves. Okay. I highly suspect that he too is looking for that domain. What a coinky dink. Can I come too? No. Uh, I think you might need me there. Oh, uh, that's an awful reason. If that's your reason, no. If you would have just said you'd like to join, sure. You definitely need a local guide while you're in Sumeru, and I think I have what it takes to be that person. <laughs> no. Plus, it's a forest ranger's duty to bravely lend a helping hand to others in need. Don't care. We have every confidence in your abilities, Kale. Our party grows bigger and stronger still. <laughs> what say you to this, Captain Klee? Captain Klee. I think it's super cool. <laughs> I read in a storybook that on your own, you can only have a drop of happiness. But in a group, you have a whole ocean. I don't think that's true per se, but sure. So I'm sure mom's friend will be super happy if I show up to visit and bring a whole bunch of friends with me. Okay, fair Thank enough. You, Zurich. In that case, let's get the magic invite to take us there. Already? A second use of the magic invite? No way. We they saw the magic invite and everyone says the destination out loud. What is it? There's no this is some baloney. Give us what the name is or something. Bring us to the domain of secret wishes. Wow. Hey, at least it's nice and quick. This desert is huge. <laughs> In the void. This desert is huge! Wow, what an incredible sight! I'm very tired of it. Yes, the scenery is quite magnificent. Oh, Eula's getting a headache. <sighs> you alright? Are you okay, Eula? You don't look so good. I'm fine. Just taking a moment to acclimatize. Yeah. <clears throat> the air here is much drier than a monster. <laughs> You're right. This area doesn't look very habitable, and I don't see a domain entrance nearby either. I have n no idea how... What do we say? Just bring us to the desert? Oh no, I didn't pronounce the destination wrong. Great guide you are. I mean, I don't think I did. <laughs> think. <laughs> nope, you got it right. It definitely wasn't your fault. Well, I can't confirm nor deny. We weren't there for it. I said Gundarvaville wrong earlier, but we still ended up in the right place. I guess. Klee's right. We're in the right place. There's no doubt about that. It must be hidden in plain sight. Phew. Between some rocks, usually. If there's smoke between rocks, that's the domain entrance. Maybe the entrance is hidden under a sand dune. Like, here. Who knows? We'll just have to start by looking around. Alright. The party splits up to search the area, but turns up oh. empty-handed. I'm on so tired and so thirsty. No, oh, you have it so rough, little god child. We should have found something by now. Unless there's a problem with the magic invite. Nah, there's no shot. Huh? How could that happen? Can't. Can't happen. Uh-oh. Did I break it by accident? Yes. But I didn't do anything. Doroko will back me up. I'm innocent. Doroko, did she do it? Yes, she broke the invite. How Doroko speak? Yeah, she broke the invite. <laughs> uh, it's definitely not your fault, Klee. See? Not even a wrinkle on it. How could you even destroy it? We didn't even kill the Hillatrol. What, what is this poor inspection around here? If the domain is somewhere nearby. Does Miss Honorary Knight have an idea? Instead of us trying to find the domain. Ah, Paimon knows where you're going with this. 
<laughs> we can get the domain to find us. Interesting approach. Assuming we're right about this magic invite. Yeah. That is to say, if it was sent from within the domain, the invite likely has some sort of connection to it. Sure. Oh, I get it now. Plus, I know a super special trick we can use. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hmm, what kind of trick? Can you teach it to us too? <laughs> She's so in shock. Tricks? You know, I love tricks. Of course. Mom said that if I ever need help, I just need to shout this out loud. Help! <laughs> Don't do it. Magic invite, magic invite. Oh. Queen needs your aid. Do something now, so please not afraid. Cute. Look, something flew over. Nah. Oh. What? That's so cool. What? It's a little island in a bottle. It looks like a bottle. It's like the little little Nilupar bottle. Remarkably effective. That's one trick I'll be keeping up my sleeve in the future. You should make a note of it too, Eula. But you can't do it because Kaya doesn't rhyme with afraid. Wait, <laughs> what? What was the line again? Klee needs help. Please come help, so Klee's not afraid. Oh yeah, magic invite, magic invite, come to my aid, or something, so that Klee's not afraid. Absolutely not. It's not my style. True. I suppose bottles are pretty common in Sumerian mythology. Uh-huh. But is this supposed to be the entrance to the domain? It looks like it. It looks pretty summery. Very vibrant colors. A domain? In a bottle? Yes. Huh. Well, if there's one thing we learned in Lilue, it's never judge a domain by its cover. This has to be a massive domain, though. I guess there's one way to find out if this really is the way in. Alright. Touch the bottle. Whoa. Whoa. I'm in. We made it. Oh. Ooh. That answers Ooh. the question. Ugh. What the hell? Look. look at the hey, map. Run off and leave us all behind. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Look at that. We got a little custom drawn, hand drawn map. How cute is that? Wow. Velu. Veluriam village 41 days and 13 hours remaining and as expected there's no percent for the exploration look at these look, these flowers look like lollipops wow it's pretty it's very pretty it's very cool look, look there's a huge garden here we are in the huge garden incredible it looked so small from the outside look at this it's so pretty everyone i suggest that we stop here for a moment yes we should take stock of our surroundings before yes. deciding on our next course of action uh-huh i see a very rare mint here already since we're in a bottle has anyone heard the story of the magic bottle yes i actually did a full exploration with this magic bottle you speak of oh you mean the one about king desert and the genie in a bottle yes i've read it before but i struggled with some of the vocabulary yeah it's pretty rough eh What's the story about, Kaya? About a bottle. <laughs> Mom told me a story once about a group of adventurers who went to Bottle Land, but I don't think there was a magic bottle in that one. I think that's us, Klee. Don't worry, Klee. I can tell you all about the story of the magic bottle, but if you keep running off on your own, you'll miss all the good parts. Kaya's a great dad. Oh, okay. I got it. I'll stay with okay. you. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Why is she like an old woman there? Okay, okay, I got it. You sense it too, don't you, Kale? Mm-hmm. Something's not quite right. The Boar King is having a hold on the princess of Bottleland. Yeah, the scenery here is beautiful, but it's too quiet. But <laughs> and there's no sign of Klee's Auntie Desert here anywhere. In the castle, what do you mean? Maybe Auntie Desert lives way further down inside. Of course she does. This place is super big, oh. just like Fischl's Immer Nachfreisch. Oh. We still have a long way to go. I pinky promise, and this is why I started recording today. I will not record everything in one sitting, and I will not be as mad as with Fischl's thing last year. <laughs> yes, we won't know until we get there. Yes. Let's keep going. Deal. Yes. Yes, indeed. Here we go. Secret Summer Paradise Part 1. An invitation from afar started. My mint. Many bird. There is already some kind of radish here. I've killed them. There's pig. What is this radish? Oh, they're like slime boxes. Look at them. They're so happy. Happy slime. And is it just... It looks like massive candy. <laughs> it's candy land. Oh, there's that radish. I'm not gonna pick it up because I plan on doing another thing. I will explore this area on a YouTube live stream. So if you want to check it out, it's definitely going to be in the following 41 days and 13 hours, obviously. I need to make a specific date for it, but keep your eyes peeled. I will be streaming on YouTube and exploring this whole area 
area. So I think that will be cool. I think I'm going to leave all this in because it's always so cool in the future to look back at this area that we once had, but will be deleted. Um, all these birds are not afraid of me. Can definitely farm a lot of meat out here. Except you don't grab it like me, like my idiot man I am. So there's definitely, there's a couple chests around here. It doesn't look like there will be it looks that like much. No set foot on this road for quite some time. Uh-huh. I agree. Further we get, the more I feel like this place is a whole lot bigger than we imagined. Sure. Hey, there's something strange up ahead. I'm waiting for Let's it. Let's check it out. This is gonna like revert the flow of water or something. Like, for sure. Wow. Wow. Dude, that's wild. You know what? This is gonna be a mechanic in Fontaine, believe it or not. I wonder what it feels like. Can I touch it? Probably wet, not gonna lie. It's so big that we could probably pass straight through it. What are you on about? What? <laughs> what was that? And that was the last we ever heard of Paimon. <laughs> Why was I so excited to believe Hyabon? What? Let's not touch it for now. We still don't know enough about our environment. Touches it. But we can't just do nothing at all because then nothing at all will happen. <laughs> I have a feeling that this could be the core that sustains this entire bottle domain. Touch it. Destabilize it. In which case, the moment we touch it, this place will instantly revert to its original size. <laughs> with all of us still inside. Oh uh, yeah, let's try to intimidate Klee again. It's not working on me, Kaya. Yikes. Yikes. Okay. Jeez. So much attitude, Paimon. Kaya, are we really gonna get squished inside a bottle? Yes, it will be a red bottle instead. Of course not, Klee. I'm sure the real core of this domain is hidden away in a very safe place. <laughs> Somewhere like over there, for example. That would be a shocker. Uh, I was so nervous that I didn't notice that big wheel at all. Actual bums. Wait, who goes there? <laughs> oh my god, it's Bongo Head's cousin. Water head. Gurgle. <laughs> Gurgle question mark? What are you doing in my domain? It's, it's the water ball monster! Oh my god, the water ball monster. The water ball monster is real! What, Gurgle? It doesn't seem hostile. <laughs> in fact, don't you think it looks happy to see us? N it looks confused. Really? Uh, you sure it's not gonna gobble up by my hole? I don't know, go give it a high five, Gurgle. I don't think it's hungry. <laughs> are you water droplet? <laughs> Gurgle. <laughs> oh dear. I don't know about anyone else, but I'm not understanding a word of this. It's fine. Klee's having, having a whole conversation right now. <laughs> I love the emotes. Wait, don't go. Wait for us. Touch the water bubble. Oh, and Klee's gone. It's over. Poof. Poof. Gurgle. I understand. We'll follow. Wait, stop. It's waiting for us. Maybe you can understand us after all. Well, it, it has to guide us for sure. Oh, I get it now. Mm -hmm. It's leading like the cats and monsters. How has this never happened before? Cats haven't led us the way uh, ever. Like the cats? How so? They purr and meow and then you gotta follow them and if you don't they scratch you, it sucks. When you're walking around in Mondstadt City, sometimes a cat will show up on the side of the road. Uh-huh. It'll walk ahead of you for a while and if you're curious enough to follow it, you'll soon find yourself in front of this <laughs> fine establishment called... The Cat's Tail. Exactly. So let's see where this water droplet takes us. Probably the water droplet's body. I'm touching it. Oh, I can't. It looks so nice though. It's like planet Earth. We. I like it. It looks nice. It looks it neat. This way, right? Yep. Oh, hope we haven't lost it. There's another one of these. Did the water droplet go into that cave? Yes. I'm looking if there's like anything special. There's not a whole lot to explore so far. Hey, droplet. Gurgle. What's so weird about it? This kind of looks like that ball of water we saw earlier. Yes, indeed. Did the water droplet bring us here because it wants our help with something? Wow, that is a crazy conclusion, Gurgle. What? Your friend is trapped in the wall? <laughs> Gurgle? Don't be sad, water droplet. We're here now. We'll save your friend. Yes. You bet. But how are we going to save them? Do we have to break down this wall somehow? Klee, use the bombs. <laughs> Don't break the wall. Nope, we can't do that. No breaking the wall. Oh. Do we need to find a key of some sort then? Exclamation mark on the gurgle master. Gurgle. Uh. <laughs> oh no, where'd it go? It's used the thing for us. We can use the puzzle Look, now. 
The device has lit up and it's projecting images onto the wall. Okay. Ooh, almost it's a level. <laughs> it's a platformer. No way, it's a mini game. A two-dimensional space. 2D gaming. With objects of the same composition as the device nested inside. Wild. Yep. What Kaya said, and that's where it's friend is. <laughs> but how what Kaya exactly said. do we enter the image on the wall? You must jump in the water. Just copy what the water droplet did. <laughs> Make us all go through. Hmm. And there's a whole party. But what does that mean? Touch it. Hold on, I think Klee's on to something. Let me do it, please. Since the water droplet appears to be the key that activated the mechanism, we may be able to follow it inside simply by touching the device. Me, me, I wanna try. The principle is no different than how we entered this bottle, don't I wanna try, I wanna try. Fair enough. Okay. Deep breath, then head in. Yeet. Cutscene. Nor? Streaming projector. Oh my god, dude. My live stream, Twitch TV, Rednasia, if you want to check it out. <laughs> this is definitely going to be a mechanic in Fontaine, just so you guys know. And I think it is incredibly cool. Yep, and then I touch it. Entering the preprints world. <laughs> this looks so weird. I did. You're still subtitled. That's crazy. F. Wow. <laughs> Look at me go. <laughs> well, this is so much like Honkai Impact. Oh, that's just Primo Gem Chest. Yay, that's crazy. You can leave it at any time. F, paying respects to that. That's so cool. Look at them. They're hanging out. Two bros. Chilling like hot tubs. Water. <laughs> Guess it makes sense that the water droplet's friend is... Also a water droplet. You didn't expect this? Oh, look, the Dendro Cube is little winky. Wait, it's Lieben. Aww, and they both feel the same thing to show they're happy. So do humans. We smile. Uh, He's dead. Water droplet number two ran off. Nah, he died. Gurgle? It's saying thank you, Miss Honorary Knight. That was a huge help. It was nothing. It was nothing. Traveler, how do you feel after entering that two-dimensional space? Any... Physical side effects? Flat. Ah, oh, the pain! I've been squished flat like a traveler pizza! Quit while you're behind! <laughs> you're clearly fine! Okay, then. You can be drama queen whenever you want, and I can't be drama queen? What the hell? Well, I'm just glad that you're okay. That's sweet. Thanks, Yula. Good thing Yula's here to look out for everyone! Can't <laughs> say the same for you, though, Kaya! You're pretty quick to send the traveler inside! Yeah, you Conrian scum! <laughs> <laughs> hey now, I only suggested that because I was confident that the traveler would be fine. Caribert Lucanas? Water droplet? Is there anyone else here besides you and your friend? Yes. Gurgle? Yep. You know, anyone who looks like me or my friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, of course. There's many of those. Oh, left. Oh, it ran off again. Hopefully this is a good <laughs> He's just time. cruising away. Amazing. Come on, let's follow it. I'm on it. I am on it. I love this. This mechanic is so good. So cool. Did we unlock more parts of the map yet? I wonder. No, this is still that same part. It's going to be wild. Here's one chunk, two chunk, three chunk. So I guess this is all the different arcs. Today we'll do this entire thing. And then whenever the next part is out, probably head this way. I'm guessing this road. This is going to be the, the Kaya arc. Yeah. And then here is going to be the Klee arc, and finally, the Eula arc, where we'll f the Eula car. <laughs> Wonderful. Our arc is everywhere and anywhere in the middle. I really want to have, like, Yelan in one of these someday. In one of these, like, cute hangout, no stress ones. Follow the water droplet. Well, that's not the one. It does have a friend, though. It's being surrounded by little mushrooms. Definitely a Fontaine mechanic right there. Definitely. It's like a circus out here. I love the vibes. And listen to the music. Biddy biddy. No, but we're actually in a circus, in a festival. There's so many of them. I guess they're the oculi of this area, perhaps? Red-tailed lizard. I should catch one of those for the teapot. It looks like there might be a town up ahead. The music got so loud. Yeah. Maybe it's so nice. That's wild. This is like Super Mario Odyssey tier music. It's over. Play more. Play more. I like that jazzy stuff. Come on. That's amazing. I can't wait to just hang around here. There's so many of you guys. Look at Bub Squirrel. Hey, are you the voiced one from the archipelago? <laughs> oh, no, you're not. I'm. Oh. I didn't want to interact with him. Oh. The situation is now critical. Oh. Her window of opportunity to fix this is rapidly closing. This girl is definitely from Fontaine. 
I'm sure Look at her fit. Just how much things have deteriorated in recent days. And she's all blue. But, but even so. Idia. This is your home. It is Kokomi. What? So everything fall to pieces. <laughs> I recognize the voice. I was like, but why would she be here? What? I. Well, I live here, but it doesn't actually belong to me. Huh? I know, I felt the same. Anyone else who comes into this domain in the future will take one look at the ruins before them and conclude that this place was abandoned years ago. Uh, what? I'm so confused. But just imagine how different things could be if you maintain this domain in perfect condition. Whoever sets foot inside would witness a magical wonderland. We're witnessing a magical wonderland. How miraculous it would feel to them to find such unimaginable beauty. In the middle of a lifeless desert. Yeah, true. Oh, you're right, General. General. Truly, but act now while you still can. <laughs> what the hell? Stand up to this and break free from your despair. <laughs> General Sanganomiya? Question mark. <laughs> the most important thing is to have no regrets in the end. Yeah, I guess that's true. Hmm. Well, no one chooses to have regrets, do they? <laughs> You know what I like? They do what I usually do when I type. They like all caps some words now. But I take your point. I'll try my best to stop running away. Don't worry, Klee does that all the time too. We're still trying to teach her. But the question remains of where to begin. <laughs> Paimon's figured out who it is. Yeah, you've seen her. Is it Miss Honorary Knight's friend from a faraway land? Yeah, it's super cute island. You would love it there. She's a divine priestess. A divine priestess? Yeah. What's that? Is it a kind of mage? Basically. Hello, Gurgle? <laughs> what are you doing here? Huh? We have new visitors? Hey, the gang's back in town. What's up? Greetings, everyone. Hello. This is the Valurium Mirage, mm -hmm. and I'm the caretaker, Adia. Adia. I'm Hi, Adia. I'm so sorry that you have to see this domain in its current state of disarray. I like we it, actually. We are actively working on repairs, and everything will be back to normal shortly. Um, I hope. You know, I kind of like organized chaos. I don't like things when they're too neat. They have to have, they have to have some life to them. So, things being like out of place, to me, shows that there's life. More than per se, there is a mess. Greetings, everyone. I guess I should introduce myself too. What do you, what do you mean? It's all right. Just leave the introductions to me. Okay. Uh, I kind of want to in my own way. <laughs> in my own I way. I'm done. I guess I'll let her do the honors. But I wanted to say hi. This lady is a visitor to the domain, just like oh. yourselves. She is a formidable military general. How did you end up here? Have any of you heard of Inazuma's Onmyo Chamber? No. What chamber? The what now? Onmyo Chamber. It's huh? an elite training academy for gifted students of Onmyodo. Practitioners are divided into four classes, A through D, and assigned nice. the power of Shikigami based on their mastery of the art. D through A, you know what I'm saying? Um. Uh, wait. <laughs> this lady famously led the class D underdogs to victory and <laughs> class A favorites in the final mock campaign before graduation. Wow. An astonishing feat that few in the history of the academy have ever achieved. <laughs> Hence, formidable general is no exaggeration. What was it? Why did it sound like Kokomi was giving advice on how to run the place, though? Isn't that right, general? Uh, what's wrong? I came here as Kokomi. Stop talking about my work. Uh, uh, huh? <laughs> Wait, so the favorites were beaten by the classy underdogs? Classy? Uh, Paimon's not completely following. <laughs> The music starts to play. Okay, this is chaos. It doesn't sound like tropes from the Inazuma Light novels. That doesn't sound like the divine priestess Miss Honorary <laughs> Knight was talking about. Uh-oh. Did she just get caught lying in front of someone she was trying to impress? It seems that way. Maybe she uses a different identity in her private That's life. That's what I was thinking. This is the first time her friends are learning about it. I think this is actually the, the, the arc. She wanted to be on a holiday. She didn't want to be like military general Belody. Seems... Kind of embarrassing, but also kind of cool. Uh huh. I guess having someone else to introduce you was a good way to make an impression. <laughs> mm, maybe I'd fit in better with everyone if I had a. Don't do it, Cole. Just be you, please. <clears throat> Some people call me a general, but it's just their way of showing respect. My actual <laughs> name is Sangonomiya Kokomi. Uh huh. 
Huh? Oh no. Sorry. My mistake, General. <laughs> uh, I mean, Miss Sangonomiya. <laughs> wow. Call me whatever you like, Itia. The only important thing about names is knowing who's who. <laughs> People would tend to disagree with that, but I kind of agree. I get it. Oh, I get it now. It's like that story that Mom told me that Oh, story time. time. Lovely. Gurgle? Kligan explain. So basically, in the basically. story, a big group of people go on an adventure to Fatherland. Uh-huh. One of them's called King, mm -hmm. and some of them are called Knights. Interesting. So, Miss Sangonomiya must be the super smart one who solves all the problems in the story. Uh-huh. Uh, what's that one called again? Protagonist? Perhaps... A sage? <laughs> a sage? Indeed. Wisdom is an important attribute found in military generals. Are we already role-playing? Lovely. Okay. Well, I'll just call you that. <laughs> Miss General it is. I thought you said Miss Sage. <laughs> Fine by me. Sounds really cute coming from you. Yeah, I love war terms when they're being used by children. It should be the opposite. It should really not be taken like this. At least cuter than my pen name, that's for sure. <laughs> Well then, how should I address the rest of you? Old friend for me, I hope. <laughs> how could I ever forget you? What about these esteemed ladies and gentlemen accompanying you? Uh-huh. I'd be delighted if you could introduce me to them too. Nerd, little baby, other little baby, honorary knight, kind of little baby as well. And she's cool. She, you can call her cool. Wait, Klee wants a title too. Oh, you want to be a mage too? Okay. Me too. The kind that flies around everywhere. Me too. Oh, I want to also be mage, please. Kaya can be the master thief. Yeah. This honorary knight can be uh the knight. No. And Paimon will be the fairy who follows the knight everywhere. I want to be the knight. I want to be mage too. Master thief, huh? I did like playing pirates as a child, <laughs> so I suppose this is an apt role for me. I forgot I about admit, being a pirate. The master part is a nice touch. This eye patch is an integral part of me now. I'm no longer role playing. Uh, hold on a second. Are you saying the position of knight is now? Fixed? No, you can be knight. I'll be mage as well. You can be the sword master who can cut through any <laughs> sword and master. To wear a super sparkly cape. Then I'm mage master. <laughs> That's more like it. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I like being healer too. She doesn't like it. Yeah, exactly. If it would be nice, we could swap. Uh, no, no, I don't mind. Healer is a great role. I just don't know if I'm qualified to be one. Kole, we're role playing. Whenever I'm thinking of titles for myself, I usually imagine myself as an adventurer mm -hmm. or a musician. Sure. I never thought I could be a healer. Adventurer or musician. Mean, it feels like it should be Master Tainari's role if. Anyone's. Kole, you understand, in adventures, you got like bards, and bards usually serve as healers as well. It's all making sense. Don't worry, Kole. You'll be the bestest healer ever. She's right. You don't talk much, but you're very kind. <laughs> just like the healers in Mom's story. Yes. You'll do fine. I heard your I love bandages. this. You can patch up a wound, can't you? <laughs> Even if she can't, who cares? I wanted to say one thing. This reminds me so much. Again, it does this often, but of Borderlands. Borderlands had this DLC called Tiny Tina's Wonderland, and it was like a whole fantasy world. Kind of like this. It reminds me of this, and I have such fond memories of that, that this... I already am enjoying this, just because it reminds me of that other thing I enjoyed so much. Uh, I can pitch a tent. Nice. Maybe you heard wrong? <laughs> But I'll do my best. <laughs> it's my first day filling in for Master Tainari. But hopefully it's the first of many. Which she has invited herself to, by the way. This is a great idea. Uh, once a new visitor arrives, they can assume there a new identity. Then add in some role-playing. <laughs> We're RPing, baby! Oh, we can't leave you out, Miss Adia. Mm -hmm. You're uh, the, um, the quest master. characters in Mom's stories. Quest master. You don't remind me of any of them. Or like the Catherine. That's perfectly okay. I already have a role here anyway, remember? I'm the caretaker. No, you're, you're the quest. You actually look like the quest icon in RuneScape as well. I got it! I got it! This wasn't in any of the stories, but you can be the mascot. No. Mascot? That's lame. Klee, 
Maybe you could think up an even better role for Miss Adia. Look, she's shaking, but she's like, oh, I can't believe I'm being seen as the mascot. A mascot, you say? Isn't that a character yes. that doesn't have to actually do anything and <laughs> sit around letting everyone else do all the important work? Yeah. Incredible. You've seen right through me. <laughs> she was excited and then sad and then ashamed. So many emotions in this little lady. Uh, you have some long nails, by the way. Sounds like the idea of being lazy is pretty exciting to her. Huh. What do I know that from? The mascot serves to maintain troop morale, Itia. True. Don't underestimate your role. The general is right. Oh, all right. I'll be the mascot then. Uh-huh. Gurgle? What can you be? You can be the pet. You can be the flying dragon pet. That's right. Thank you for bringing these new friends here safely. Oh. You can go off and play now. Thanks, Water Droplet. See ya. We should give this one a name and a little flower so remember it's- Oh, it waved! It's waving twice! How cute! What? It doesn't go very fast. Water Droplet? Is that your pet name for it? Yeah. <laughs> I suppose it's as accurate a nickname as any. What is its original name, then? We keep getting sidetracked. But I believe you were saying something about being in a difficult predicament. Yeah. Is something wrong with the Valeria Mirage? Yes. Oh, yes. About that. I'm afraid the entire domain has recently sustained some significant damage. Oh, no. It was as if the whole world was suddenly flipped upside down. A few components no way. went missing from the core, which sustains the domain. And the impact cascaded out from there. So what you're saying is you moved to Bel Air. <laughs> On the phone, they get flipped out now, they got a phone that depended on it. Yep, I think that's what she's saying. Needless to say, many things in the Valorium Mirage have now stopped working. Just days after I agreed to let my friend's daughter come and visit too. When she gets here and sees the state this place is in. Oh, then? So your mom's Oh. Friend. Hi, I'm oh. <laughs> I Clee. Here, I brought the magic invite, see? Uh, you see... The person it had to be in good shape for was Klee. Huh? Wait. Yep. So, your... Your? Mm-hmm. Look how dilated her pupils are. <laughs> she must be very surprised. <laughs> She's so over it. Yeah, and uh, not in a good way. Yep, no, she messed up. Mom's the one who sent me here. She's the strongest mage ever. She said that her friend lives in the desert. You live in the desert, so that must be you. Right, Auntie Desert? Are you Auntie Desert? Ah, I see. So being a mage runs in the family. Oh, I'm so jealous. <sighs> no, you're fine. You're fine, bro. You're... You're Alice's daughter? <laughs> oh, I just want the ground to swallow me up right now. Uh-huh. Wait, that's it. I'll hide myself away in the core of the domain. <laughs> hide there until this all blows over. See you all in 100 years. You, you, you live 100 years? Dia's really going through it. Mm -hmm. She's like a shriveled little forest fungus, <laughs> hanging its head in shame. <laughs> Kale, that's a harsh analogy. Yes. Where'd all that come from? I know. Don't worry, Auntie Desert. Klee's here to help you. And all my friends will help too. Mm -hmm. Just take a deep breath. And then another deep breath. <laughs> and all your Will fly away. She just starts hyperventilating. <laughs> this is cute. Please write, many hands make light work, but I will not break character. As a knight, it shall be my honor to render my assistance. Ah, don't you worry. Lady fix a lot over here. <laughs> track record with this kind of thing. <laughs> I actually like that. That's pretty cool. Well, I'm useless. Sure is on. Looks like that won't matter with all you capable people around. Fantastic. You're just insecure. We'll get you through this. You're great too. Thanks for your encouragement. Anyway, so for the time being, Paimon's the mascot, after all. Yourselves. That'll give me some time to think things through mm -hmm. and maybe make a start on um delegating. Delegating. Lovely. Delegation. Talk to everyone. Oh, this is such this is such a summer event thing. The the quest or the the task that says talk to everyone. Here is a teleport waypoint. I don't know if there's an achievement for getting all the waypoints here. Pretty excited to see it. I love how everything looks here. I also love how roofs in these, this game always look like r upside down yeah. boats. I'm so excited for this. This is so pretty and cool. Doody, do doody. All right, Kokomi and Kali. How's it going here? Hi, Mr. Many K names. Miss Kaya, Kali, Kokomi. Kula, Klumin. <laughs> What's it like there? There must be loads of fish. 
Mm hmm. You're right. Fish blasting is great. Oh? Are there fish in your family? Wow. Oh, uh, sorry to disappoint you, Miss Major. Aww. I'm just an ordinary human. Man. I have lots of great stories about Watatsumi Island, though. Come on, let's enjoy the scenery while I tell you all about it. Is she gonna be patient enough to listen to that? We didn't even, we didn't talk to anyone. We just third wheeled in that conversation. Hello. Feeling nervous, Kale? It's your first time as a guy. <laughs> He's just teasing. Hmm? Oh, no, <laughs> not at all. I'm just, uh, still settling into the role. So I was thinking about how to talk more like Master Tainari. Stop trying to copy. Be yourself. Oh, my God. Is that an apple bush? Is there an apple growing from a bush? Well, Wild. the easiest way to imitate someone is to start with their most common turns of phrase. Oh, I haven't put on my uh, tail oil. Oh, okay. In that case, uh... <laughs> Put that mushroom down. Huh. Now, it's highly poisonous. <laughs> there you go. With just a few simple words, you've captured your master's personality perfectly. He's right. Anyway, what about your role? Don't you mind being the master thief? It doesn't sound like you're one of the good guys. Thieves can be good. <laughs> Maybe not. Robin? Until you Robin Hood? That I only steal from the enemy. Exactly. I think that's enough to make me one of the good guys. Don't Maybe you. instead of thief, you should be called rogue. Oh, uh, fair point, fair point. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this one apple, this has to be... Something's off. <laughs> you could say that. <laughs> it was bothering me. I mean, it's just a napping little guy. I'll let him nap. It's one of these guys, for sure. Because there's little blue bubbles. I'll let him chill. He's just napping. And this thing is here. That's so cool. Something's off. A berry in a tree? <laughs> I love this. I'm taking a picture of this. I love this. So much effort into this again. And I hate it so much that it's going to be gone forever. My blue sisters. Huh? I'm also blue. Oh, never mind. The Valoria Mirage recently? Uh, there was someone from the academia who oh. came not long ago. Okay. A Kasharawar scholar. Blonde hair. Architect, I think. Are you saying Covet? He was a huge help and redesigned many of the buildings here. Cavito? Although he was always grumbling to himself. He was extremely diligent in his work. Mm-hmm. Ah, <sighs> what a kind person. Oh. I could tell that was a sensitive soul. A lot like me. <laughs> uh, sorry. Please pretend you didn't hear that. <clears throat> wow. I'm of course a very... Uh, Idiot kind of into... Person. Kave? Another K name. After him, an aristocrat from Mondstadt showed up. Hey. Then the gen... I mean... Miss Sangonami. Uh, but, 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 go back to the aristocrat, aristocrat. Unfortunately, everything here suddenly started changing before I had She's to so be a good host and show them around. Do you know where the Mondstadt aristocrat is now? If I remember correctly, he wow. headed north after the incident. The incident? It's a pity we're having all these issues. If we could get everything working normally again, I could probably locate him in an instant. All right, well, hey, we're on it. Still, not to worry. There's nothing dangerous here. Mmm. That's some foreshadowing if I've ever seen it. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly, Yula. Hey, Idea, you got an update for us? We've all caught up with each other. Uh huh. Very well. Then please allow me, Idea, your mascot, <laughs> to explain exactly what's happened here. Okay. Let's hear it. Pretty happy with this mascot role, huh? Yeah. Basically, this entire domain is powered by a device called the Central Hub. <laughs> Crazy which name. You all saw earlier. Central Hub. But following a major incident, Our nether portal. several key components from the central hub came loose and went flying. Interesting. Four components, I believe. Oh, no which way. Which caused the central hub to stop turning. Let me think. There's four areas. There's going to be one chunk per area. Oh, so that thing's supposed to spin? Yes. Yes. It definitely shouldn't be frozen still like it is now. Mm -hmm. At least, that's not how it was when I first got here. <laughs> Oh, I've done such a terrible job of taking care of it. It's so embarrassing. Okay, another bold guess coming from me. She might not be the direct friend of Alice, but like the apprentice of Alice, just like during the um, Hexen Circle quest we did, that event, there was also apprentice, right, of one of the wizards that actually set up that whole tea thing. She might be one of those. I feel like it would make sense anyway. And also, it's really not that long ago. That Hexen Circle thing was like not even half a year ago. Hey, everything's gonna be okay. So was it? we need to fix the big wheel up there. And to do that, we need to find the missing parts. That was three months ago. <laughs> right. I do know where one of the parts is. It landed not too far away. Okay. 
But the rest all landed in different areas. I'm afraid you'll have to go and look for those. Sure. <clears throat> now, as the caretaker and your mascot, I shall announce your respective adventure duty. She's so pretty, though. I like I like how she looks um, a lot. You can just be yourself if you want. No need to force the whole role-playing thing. <laughs> Kalate, you're breaking it up. She was literally excited to announce it. Oh, I see. Um, okay, so I was thinking that maybe Swordmaster Eula and Healer Kale could investigate the Northern Zone, if that's okay. Did I have that right? No, I said Eula was the bottom zone. L. Fine by me. I was going to be looking for my cousin there anyway. Man, I got it wrong. I'll be your backup, Eula. I know you usually team up with Amber, so... I'll try my best to fill her shoes. Because you know what? Just like Pyro and Cryo, Melt is a great reaction. Cryo and Dendra. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh? Well, this'll be fun. Let's see if a forest ranger can outperform an outrider. Man, I like this. I want to witness Master that for Zekaya sure. And Mage Klee, if you could earmark some time in your busy schedules to search the West Zone. Did I get that right? I think I may have put Klee North. Your that you're an elf and you have pointy ears. It just means we mustn't forget to do it. <laughs> Don't worry. We can handle that. This is a cute duo too. Finally, we have our general, Miss Sangonomia, and our knight. No. If there's no objections, please come with me to retrieve the first Objection. Component. Objection. I, first of all, I don't want to be with Paimon. Second of all, Pung Ding, I want to be with someone else. What just Pung Dinged? What is Pung Dinging? Wait, what? No one cares. All right. You have my sword. Whoa, Klee! Whoa, you have my sword. Wow, spoken like a true knight. I know. <laughs> then for my part, my strategic mind is at your service. Oh man, I can't wait for Kokomi's excitement. Woo! All right, well, if anyone finds anything, come back here and we'll regroup. I can't wait. Please take care while you're out on the road and look after each other, especially our little mage here. Pat, pat, no worry. Kai is a good dad. You got it. I'll take extra special care of Kai. <laughs> I'll be on my best behavior. <laughs> okay, that's cute. Uh, okay, we'll leave it there for now. You two, please follow me. Okay, okay, here we I go. Arc number just one. Behind the central hub. Let's so see. How come you didn't bring it back when you first saw it? I'd have been more Heavy. than happy to, if this one component was enough to fix the whole domain. The whole damn domain. But with three other components to find, wow. oh, I suddenly felt overwhelmed by how much work needed doing. Lazy ass. I'm on kind of gets that. Taking the first step is always the hardest part. It's true, it's like when you need to shower, you know, and you're just too lazy to get up. Let me see, what I say this was? Kaya, yeah, Kaya, Kaya with Klee is here. They're the same arc, because Kaya and Klee are together. Eula was north. <laughs> and then we have Kokomi, who's the southern arc, I guess, with me. Keep heading towards the first component's location. Are we gonna... Uh, oh my, this reminds me of an expiration as well. Such an awful mechanic. <laughs> Hello? Keep heading in the location of the first component. What? You what? Oh my, this is cool, actually. Walk over the roots, up the divine tree. You were liking this. True. How oh. did you get here? Well, things have quieted down in Watatsumi Island for now. Yeah. So I thought I'd take the chance to get out and see more of the world. Okay. You've traveled a pretty long way. Why Sumeru? I figured that I needed to venture further than usual to really broaden my horizons. How do you find this secret bottle world? Well, that's one reason, anyway. I can explain in more detail another time. Okay. All right, we're still going. I'm I'm not walking to the waypoint so that we don't miss out on any voiced dialogue because that would suck. Hey, Lance. No. Hey, the lady, this mascot said there was nothing dangerous here. Leave me alone. Waypoint. I wonder if there's any rare resources. I'd really hope so. Oh, I like this. The inside of a tree. This is so cool always. Am I even doing the right thing? <laughs> Why would you put two here? I think I was not supposed to go up. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, here's another one of those 2D mini games. Okay. All right. Now, I'm sure you're both wondering, oh, but where's the component? <laughs> what the hell is this? Both wondering, <gasps> where's the component? There's nothing here. Oh, where could it be? Nah, you're you're role playing. You were actually planning this. This is the mini game. Oh, it's that lamp thingy, right? Mm -hmm. Water droplet showed us how that works already. Let's go in. Uh, yes, uh, that's the one. <laughs> there goes my big introduction. Paimon, you ruined it. 
Showing people the ropes is supposed to be my job. Oh, I Eidolon. I'm being shown up Eidolon. 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 That's definitely how I would pronounce it. Isn't that the constellations in Star Rail? Cheer up, Idia. The Hydro Eidolon can give a basic demonstration of how to use things, but beyond that, it can't communicate. Yeah, we'd love to hear your explanation. Please tell us again. Oh, great That's guide you mascot. Your descriptions can explain everything in full, vivid detail. <laughs> I don't forgot how persuasive Kokomi can be when she really wants it. Oh, I did not forget. Sometimes having a genius strategist around really comes in handy. Yes, for cheering up middle-aged lady that messed up everything. I think we were babysitting Klee, but we're babysitting this blue lady instead. Now I see how an eloquent speaker can persuade others not only agree with them, but do things for them. <laughs> well, if you put it that way, <laughs> That's foreshadowing something for sure. Just pretend like you've never seen it before, and I'll tell you all about it. Like Paimon persuading me to do all these things. This is called the streaming projector. Dude. Everything here in the Valuria Mirage was made using this device. Cool. All you need to do is place an item in the projector, and you can construct a corresponding item based on the shape of the original and your imagination. That's wild. At least. I think that's what it used to do. With the domain in its current state, only its most basic functions are still operable. Basic function? Like shining light? Stop, we're spoiling it again. This tree looks so incredibly out of place. <laughs> tree JPEG. Okay, not quite that basic. Oh. At the moment, it's only able to show two-dimensional objects. I call them preprints. Preprints. <laughs> Think of it like a sort of draft or blueprint or something. Blue, like your eyes and hair and outfit. So you're saying the component fell into the preprints? Yes. Yes, exactly. I'll leave you to go in and physically retrieve it. Okay. Well, I um oh. I'll be out here rooting for you by uh by doing a motivational dance. That is what mascots do. I'm waiting for the motivational dance. Can I see the motivational dance, please? Missy, you're not very motivational dancing right now. Really? Yes. But show the motivational no. dance. Sorry. Come on. I feel like I have two left feet when I try to dance. I guess I'll just find a place nearby to sit and wait patiently for you. Doodle dance. Hey, come on. Cheer up. We'll handle everything from here. By the end of this, I want you to do a little dance. The end of this whole quest. Use projector. Oh, actually, I didn't really think about it, did I? Yay. But he put it. I ruined the music already. It's fine. We'll go back in a second. Push the box. Push the box. Anything else I can interact with? I don't think so. Music. Come back. Oh, it's a different song. Doesn't look like the component is in here. Carrots. <laughs> oh my god, I got the component. Old gear. I can't do it. I'm stuck. Help. Oh my god, it's a it's chasing me! No! Ah, I'm gonna die! Ah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the clown music, it turns me into a clown. What is this thing anyway? Some kind of gear? Yes, an old gear. Boonk. And why is it so small? It doesn't look like it belongs in that huge It's a metaphor, Paimon. Even the smallest cog can mess up the biggest machine. It's hard to explain, but I assure you that it's definitely one of the components. It's probably going to be the same thing. You do a little, like, you put it in a, in a thing and it makes a big shadow and then it's actually a big cogwheel. So that leaves three more components missing. Well, that was pretty easy. Every journey begins with the first step. Yep. I think we're off to a good start. I agree. And things should keep going smoothly from here. You, you really think so? Of course, trust the general. I suppose Master you're tactician. Right. She did manage to defeat Class hey. A at the Onmyo chamber after all. Stop it. Um, you, uh... Hmm. <laughs> anyway, We're gonna tease her about that a hundred percent. No I'll problem. This and start trying to repair the central hub. You, you two can't may do as well that. Head back to town. All right. Oh, why am I so clumsy? Once again, I was no help at all. If only you did a little dance. The least I can do is try and handle the actual repairs. Which you can't do yet because you need three more pieces. Do a little dance. Return to Silver Bottle Courtyard. Silver Bottle, huh? Hmm, mighty suspicious of a name. This is so exciting. I love just things that look new. It's also pretty. It's also cool. It's also new. New is just nice, you know? Oh, here's another napping one. This guy's isn't working. <laughs> hmm. hmm. What's wrong, Kokomi? Why is everyone gone? Uh, I'm just a little confused. 
Yeah. You mentioned that the water droplet showed you how to use the projector? Yes. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? I'm so curious to know what happened. It was like, blurgle, blurgle, blurgle. And I was like, oh yeah, dude. And then we did it. Oh, sure. <laughs> you look at me everything that happened earlier with water droplet. Mm-hmm. Boonk, holy shit. Hey, look! The wheel is spinning now! Ah, oh, that's all it took? Eh, ooh, ooh, it's a bit clunky. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> again. I was gonna say. Yep. It also wasn't spinning at the right speed. That's what I was Before saying. Before the incident, oh. it spun much faster than that. Oh. Oh, so you saw it back when it was still working? Kokomi, you broke it? Oh, yes. I arrived here a little earlier than the rest of you, but the incident took place not long after I entered. Such therapeutic little water flowing. You know, one day, one day, I'm just, I'm gonna have a fountain. I want a fountain. <laughs> I just want a fountain. Like Adia said. Oh, wow. Not nauseating at all. Stop. Upside down. I don't know how else to describe it. And I certainly don't want to experience it again. I believe it. No, it's no use. Uh, seems it won't run until all the missing components are returned. Who would have thought? Idia. More like idiot. I'm sorry. <laughs> For a moment there, when it started turning, I got excited. Yeah. I thought that maybe the hub can work just fine without the other three. Nope. Wishful thinking is only going to lead to disappointment, Edie. Wow. Let's stick to the plan. We'll get there. Yeah. Hey, Miss Honorary Knight and Miss General are here. Hello. Oh, and our mascot. Uh-huh. <laughs> Slow walk, did you, you find your thing? Us. I was sure we were going to be the first ones back. Wait, you actually found the components? Hey, how'd it go? Pretty well. <laughs> Mission complete. Where a knight's sword goes, victory soon follows. <laughs> Impressive. <laughs> I doubt you'd find many other knights of such caliber, even among the knights of Favonius. Look at me, I'm still holding the pose. My core strength, it's just building up. How about our master thief and mage? Did you find anything? Did you? You bet! We made a huge discovery! Let me guess, it wasn't the part. It was something else. The place we were trying to get to yep, there it is. off. We couldn't see anything past it, and there was no way around. Shocker. But then, just now, a huge canyon appeared out of nowhere, so we hurried back here. That's thanks to our mascot, who <laughs> made the whole world break and go like... Uh, it appeared just now? Yes. Hmm. Don't you understand? Blue hair girl is in on the play. Come and see, Miss Honorary Knight. Let's go on a canyon adventure. This is the adventure. This is the friends we make along the way. To the canyon! I'll sit this one out. I'm beat after See? trying to make those repairs. Mm -hmm. I need to take a break. You're very good at role-playing. You're actually... I, I see through your game. Miss General, you should come too. You can hide behind me and give me smart advice while <laughs> I pretend. <laughs> actually, brute language. I love it. Wonderful. It would be an honor to serve as advisor for our young mage. Our young but very strong <laughs> mage. Go! See, Klee's having the best time. This is all part of the plan. Klee, come back! <laughs> She's gone, dude. Quest complete! Oh, Oh, great! It looks like we do get to do part one. That's awesome. I guess that's out already. I'm excited for it, so I'm definitely gonna record that now too. Alright, I adapted the party a little bit to our needs, or more to the immersion, and let's head to the canyon. It shouldn't be too far away. And look at that! Oh, we have the whole southern part? Wait, do we? Yeah. The southern part is here now. This is just the southern and the northern? Wait, no. We only unlocked the southern part. Well, sure. Another waypoint. Oh, not this song. We know this song. This ain't nothing new. Here it is! Here it is! See? This canyon wasn't here before! The wild! Just before the canyon appeared, I heard a faint sound. Like something mechanical turning. Yeah, Blue Girl tried to reactivate everything and, like, seems to have opened his path. Ka-chunk! Could it have been the central hub? Yes. That would mean this canyon appeared after it started spinning. That is indeed the conclusion. Hey, you, uh... Oh. New guys, huh? Uh, hello? Oh, hey! Another blue-haired boy. I didn't realize anyone else besides Adia lived here. Is this the whole Lawrence clan? What's going on here? You actually saw her? <laughs> She's barely shown her face since everything started falling apart here. You're an adventurer. Uh, excuse me From the asking, guild. But who are you? My name is... Frimmelstein. Frank. My name is 
Uber. Oh, he's such a Uber. Oh, right. Ferdinand. I, I was myself. that was gonna be my next I'm guess. Ferdinand. Me and my brothers look after this whole zone. All right. Well, we used to. What is with his eyes? Was like flipped upside down. Or Did you move whatever. to Bel Air? <laughs> the method we were using to make the carts and tracks stopped working after that. Oh, you're like little elves. You're like Santa's little elves. Idea is working on repairing the domain. We were just with her before coming here. Yep. Really? Huh. I assume that she'd be curled up in a fetal position somewhere, hoping all her problems will magically disappear on their own. Mm-hmm. Good for her. Well, to be honest, we're doing all the work. Anyway, I checked all the stations around the whole circuit. They've all conked out. Man. Conked out? How? Would you mind elaborating a little for us? Do it. Uh, but aren't you just travelers who stumbled upon this place by accident? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Nuh-uh. I'm Mage Klee, Idea's helper. <laughs> a mage? You? Yeah, well, hey, hello? Looks can be deceiving. <laughs> Allow me to explain. No, 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 no. You better explain that she was born from a strong family of mages, and that, that's why she's a mage. And none of you are explaining our roleplay right now. Introduce yourselves and explain what's happened. Okay, I gotcha. She's leaving. Well, right now, the more help we got, the better, <laughs> I guess. Anyway, our first priority is to get the cards here up and running again. We're actually Santa's little helpers. These are all presents. Oh, and why is that? Christmas event. The roads here twist and turn so much that the best way to get around is by riding the rail tracks oh. instead. Oh, no way. Let me show you. This is what we used to make them. I see. Did Dia bring you up to speed on these things? Yes. It's a streaming projector, right? Twitch TV slash Ednacio. And soon on YouTube for the exploration of this place. Yep. Basically, we need something that we can put inside that'll make a card for us. All right. Like what? Can it be anything as long as it looks like a card? Yes. Yeah, you could put it that way. But one other thing is that it has to be compatible with the tracks. Okay. So, something like a sedan chair? <laughs> Isn't it just a car? Car chair? Mm, but I'm not sure we have all the materials required to build one oh, of Oh, I do. How about you, Traveler? Any ideas? How about a box? A castle with legs? That sounds great. What kind of a suggestion is that? That would be way too complicated to make. For you, maybe, you small brain bean. Yeah. Sorry, I don't think we have the right materials for that. Lame. Really? Hey, everyone. Come and see what Klee made. What is it, Klee? Ta-da! Whoa! Klee made a cart! Holy moly, Klee! That looks amazing! Wow! Amazing work, Klee! <laughs> oh my god! Whoa! It fits a track like a glove, too. Listen, she can craft bombs. She's a mage. Plus, it's a heck of a lot cuter than the ones Adia made. Let's go, Klee! What a clever mage! <laughs> just wanted to give it a try and suddenly whoa boom, there it was. <laughs> i like the little surfing position look at her go surfing usa <laughs> Pyman's gonna ask, what exactly did you make your cart from Klee? mud rocks wood i used jumpy dumpty oh it's explosive uh -huh. so. <laughs> hmm is there a problem or something no if not then let's get ready to leave how about you go first ferdinand then you see him go off in the distance <laughs> Wild imagination from a mage. We just need to drive safely. It's a bomb or something, isn't it? No. Yeah, I gathered from your conversation that Jumpy Dumpty <laughs> is a little more volatile than the cute name suggests. No. It's okay, though, because the end product only takes on the general look of the source material. Okay. Uh, so to be more specific, so where's the gunpowder? while different materials have different properties, most of them aren't transferred to... Uh, Yay! It's okay! No need to delve into the theoretical <laughs> Wow, Paimon cutting someone off when they're saying something boring? Maybe we should do that to you. Paimon just wanted to make sure we aren't about to end up like the, uh, flying fish of Starfell Lake. <laughs> huh? Uh, I don't know. Can we ride the cart now? Listen, fish blasting is common in Mondstadt. In a moment, we need a Hydro Eidolon to power it up first. His eyes are so odd. He's like, fine, I'll do it. He's so over it. Thanks, buddy. Gurgle. Okay, she's ready to roll. Hop in. I'm, I'm on it. Can I drive? <gasps> oh, a car platform choo choo <laughs> of the choo choo cart are split into locked and unlocked states. You can summon choo choo carts at unlocked platforms. Whoa, choo choo! I think this is just punching. I don't think I'm generating any speed, but it still looks cool. Maybe I can sync them up. Sync them up. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Kill the birds! Oh man! Chicka chicka chicka. <laughs> Careful! There's a box! Scenic box with 10k mora! Swimming in money. Activate the platforms. 
No! I wanna go again. Keep going. I wanna stop. Put me back in. We need another boy. Come power it. Boy? Destroy floaty bloaty floaty bloaty bloaty. Track is damaged up ahead. Man. Make some repairs before we can go any further. Do it, Ferdinand. Yep. Looks like it's all reverted to a preprint state here. Yeah. Do you know why that happened? Because uh, the earthquake. Everything in this domain starts as a preprint and only takes shape after being illuminated by the streaming projector. I see. But the hydroidolin that forms the tracks here has been trapped in the print. Nor nor. So someone needs to go into the preprint. And please again. <laughs> right? Yes. But the projector here is sealed off by a giant bubble. Blow it up, Klee. That's the hydroidolin's way of protecting the device from damage. If the streaming projector broke, then we'd be seriously stuck. Yeah. Klee's just sprinting around. Yep, gurgle. Like Klee, Klee's friends with him already. Aww, it seems to really like that name. Yeah, it does. Why does this say Hydro Eidolon? Um, any volunteers for step two? Yeah, dude, sure. Leave that to us. We know what to do. This is my favorite pastime. I actually like these puzzles a lot. They're great. This could be a whole... You know what? You could, like, design things in here as well, I feel. All right, going in. Am I... I'm always Lumine, right? Yeah. It'd be cool if you could be something else as well. Empty? What the fudge? Nice jump. Dee -doo -doo -dee. Ah, so the hydroidolin was locked up in that chest. It was shocker, isn't it? Watch this Primo Gem. Yay! Oh, there's more. Leave me alone. <laughs> Do you see Lumi look at us like, help me, I am stuck. <laughs> they wave at each other, and poof. Whoa. Water Droplet just transformed into some new track. Thanks, Water Droplet. Good. Let's keep going then. <laughs> this guy's cheering us on. Change direction? Nope. Nope. <laughs> All right, put me in coach. I'm gonna start the challenge. Should I? I probably should just ignore the challenge, actually, as a whole. I'm ignoring it. You're for expiration. Oh, it starts it from the start. This is so fun. It's very difficult to not do this right now. So I'm just gonna be doing it <laughs> until the very end, at which point I will not get the final one. There's 85 of them anyway. Oh, the double? Watch this. Bang. Insane. This is so pretty. I don't care about the challenge anymore. Okay, I, I still do a little bit. Look at that triple chest over there. This is so nice. Hey, Ferdinand! You mentioned that you managed this together with your brothers. Did you mean that your brothers are water droplets? Water droplet no, no. brothers. The hydroidolans are like helpers here. I told you, Santa's little my helpers. Brothers, well, those two. I'm not gonna punch any of these. Look at this, there's so many spares. I'm not doing it. Arnor! I failed it. Arnor. <laughs> Keep riding ahead on the choo-choo cart. Well. All right. Booty booty boop beep booty booty boop boop booty doo doo doo. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> We're doing tricks. Oh my god, the looping! Quick. What? <laughs> that is so cool. Yup. Yup. This is probably the coolest thing Genshin's ever done. Wow. Sumter beast, kill them all. Change tracks. Whoa. <laughs> This is actually incredible. I love it. Yeet, 15k, rich, swimming in money, swimming in money. Seems Boop. we've just about finished repairing the station Made it. and the connecting tracks. Let's go check the track switcher now. It's over there. It's over there? Dude, over there? Maybe I should have, I don't know. I think I don't need to be on a cart. This is like Vanarana. Boom, 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 boom. And it's one of those things you shoot with the bow, but very much upscaled. Oh no, you're not friendly, are you? You're mean. You're definitely mean. Are you? Huh, maybe you're not mean. I might be ruining inner peace. Okay, you are mean. Well, I'm mean. Oh no. Haha! <laughs> -ha. The bird that was definitely going to attack us. Oh, there's another spinny thing here. It's so big. Yeah. But, uh, not as big as the one we saw in the middle of this place. Uh huh. That one was huge. Huge. In all caps. I bet it's something super important. I remember what Kaya said earlier. Mm-hmm. Very good, Klee. You're using what you saw earlier to make observations. Like a real adventurer. Like a real not seven-year-old. It appears to be a system that rotates to switch tracks. Wild. That's right. Originally, all you had to do was flip this switch and the junction would rotate. But that was before the earthquake and the flip upside down Prince of Bel Air. Hmm. But it seems Jeremy still hasn't fixed it yet. Dang it, Jeremy! Talks big, but when it comes to actually getting things done, I know, man. I hate when Jeremy does that. Is this Jeremy you mentioned? One of your brothers? Definitely. Yeah. When I talked to him about repairing the tracks, 
I suggested we start with the station, but he said we should start at the junction. Okay. <laughs> really, it made no difference which one we started with, but he just had to turn it into a huge argument. <laughs> he always treats me like I'm a fool and disagrees with anything I say. Wild. Let's see what I'm he saying has to wild say too now much. that I've already fixed the tracks. Okay. Well, if you ask me, you're clearly a sharp person, Ferdinand. Yes. Yes. Finally, someone who can recognize that, rather than just shrugging <laughs> off my ideas. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's make our way to the junction and see what he's up to. Sure. I bet he's still fretting over what to do. All right, let's go there. Do we have a car? Board. Thanks. Perfect. Always lucky. Oh. Bunk. Sometimes I can't Bunk. help but get Bunk. angry just thinking. We needed it all three for the gates. You should have seen him back in the sandstorm. The gates of Balder. What was east, the point? And he argued that we should New tracks and creative. 15k. 20k more. 15k. 10. Okay. We separated and each went our own way. That's crazy that you us, did that. We stumbled across this domain. Otherwise, I'm sure we would have been buried in the sand. Oh. Jeronay. Yo, Jeronay. <laughs> What's up, Jeronay? <sighs> Everything will get better once we get the switcher working again. You suck, Jeronay. Hmm. Still stuck here just as I expected. Well. Did you make any progress? Look, I even brought tourists. <laughs> Didn't I already tell you? Just have the Hydroidolans fix the junction and then make a new cart. After that, we can use the junction to... Why are their eyes glowy? Wait a minute, how did you get here? Are they Conrian? It took a lot of effort for me to climb all the way up here. Wait a second. The answer is standing right Man, in front too, of you. I'm looking far too, far too much, far too far away. He means us, definitely not himself. <laughs> yeah, sure. Those travelers must have helped you. Yes, indeed. You never get anything done on your own. You always get someone else's help and then try to take the credit for yourself. True. You're one to talk. What have you managed to accomplish, <laughs> huh? You were here just moping around all day. He's like, can we just be friends? I just want to be friends. Whoa. They started arguing the moment they saw each other. Mm -hmm. But aren't they supposed to be brothers? Does that make it impossible to argue with? <laughs> Me? His brother? <laughs> Hardly. You're mean, Jerone. <sighs> all right, Jeremy. <laughs> That's enough. Jeremy. <laughs> I like Jerone more. Oh, fine. I'd rather be focusing my efforts on fixing the track switch rather than arguing anyway. All right, Jerone. You should calm down too, Ferdinand. Let's all focus on the situation at hand. Mm -hmm. Any personal problems can be settled later. She's right. Fine. Nerd. <laughs> He's so mad. I'm sorry you had to see that. My name's Jeremy. Jerone. The people responsible for taking care of this area. All right, Jerone. I assume you're the ones who helped repair the tracks. Yeah. Thank you very much. It means a lot. Uh, we're all doing it for our little mage. No need to thank us. We're just trying to help Idea restore the domain. Mm-hmm. You explained the situation to Jerone. I see. Now that you and Ferdinand brought the cart up here, we'll need the Hydroidolans to fix the area below. Mm-hmm. Them again, huh? Mm-hmm. Seems the Hydroidolans are really important around this place. You'd start guessing this related to Fontaine and the Hydro Archon. Yes, of course. Not only do they keep the junction turning, they operate practically everything else in the domain, too. It seems that way. Boop. Oh. If it was nighttime, this would look great. Cutscene. It's filling with water. Okay. Flowers are blooming. It's pretty. And then what? All right. Seems most of the tracks and junctions have been repaired now. No, lovely, that's all it took. <laughs> yep, so maybe it's time you give credit where credit is due. Hmm. I'm starting to think Ferdinand is actually the annoying one. What? You think you deserve the credit? If anything, we should be thanking these travelers. Jerone. Jerone, you're on my good side now. Never mind, you're my homie. <sighs> you? Well, either way, you're not the one getting any credit. I think Ferdinand's actually the salty one. You're always quick to criticize my ideas and push your own. But you never actually get anything done. Chirone didn't even start anything this and time. what about you? Don't forget it was Hado and I who took care of the mess that one time you impulsively tried one of your brilliant ideas. <laughs> uh, speaking of oh, Hado, Klee. wasn't he with you? Hado's gone. I left early this morning. I assumed he'd be with you. Oh, Hado's dead. Seriously? <laughs> Couldn't you have at least looked Kaya to see two. where he was before you Let's left? Let's get Klee out of here. This is not a happy Bottle Island adventure hype. Hey, come on! You didn't see him either, so what's your excuse? <laughs> what is this arguing, man? <laughs> Klee? 
<laughs> what's wrong? What do you mean what's wrong? You don't like seeing people argue? Who are- who like seeing people argue? I don't get it. I don't get it either. I'll never get it. Nobody did anything bad. Why are they arguing? <laughs> well, they have done bad things in the past. I... Uh, I just don't like his smug attitude, that's all. So I'm gonna make a big deal out of it. Who are you calling smug? If anything, you're the one who's making such a big fuss right now. Jerone is right. All right, I think we've heard enough from you two. <laughs> if you insist on bickering, then I'd suggest you go somewhere else. Otherwise, I'll just cool you two off myself. <laughs> smug Paimon. Paimon, you're always smug like that. I just start arguing with Paimon now. Uh, cool it. Now, come with me. I'd like to have a word with you. Listen here, if you ever start being angry in front of my little sister again, I'll freeze you eternally. Send you into space like March 7th. <laughs> Be upset, Kree. There are many complicated situations in this world which don't always have a logical explanation. She's right. Give her a little hug. This would be such a cute hug moment. As a passing traveler here, Genshin needs hugs. It's not my place to comment on their disputes. Uh huh. But in my experience, family issues can be the toughest to resolve. You go there, and you. <laughs> I mean, he's he's got his little he's got his little brother problems too, so I get it. Me. Who would? But it's still not right. Listen, there's many things that aren't right. I don't know how to explain my feelings. You're a little baby, that's why. I'm sorry. We've calmed down. We shouldn't argue in front of a child like that. Good shit, Jerone. We're sorry, Clee. Good shit, Ferdinand. It's okay. <laughs> You're forgiven. Back to the topic at hand. Weren't you about to go look for your brother, Hado? Hado Hotel. He's got a massive game. Massive. It used to be huge back in the day. Ah, right. But best guess is he's somewhere around the Torrential Twister. Oh no, there's a, definitely some kind of sea dragon in there. You'd have to use the junction to send a cart to another area. Okay. Sorry to trouble you again, but would you help us find him? Aye, as long as you promise not to argue. <laughs> We're really pushing on this thing. They already apologized. Oh, alright. <laughs> He was like, I was gonna, but since you asked so nicely, sure. Oh, do you want to argue so bad? Hey, come on, you two. Your brothers, after all. Can't you try to get along? No. Can I do a little... Yay! What a cute little dive. Woo! I want to dive in this water. I'm making it my mission. Can I stand on this? Nor. Switch the tracks using the junction. Elor, switch to Amber Flower. Okay. This is the end of this track segment. Auto should be nearby. This is the right one? That's so cool. That's actually so cool. Only this area seems to have these though. Maybe the other areas will too. So that you can actually just look on the map and you can see which ones. What that is incredible. Very cool mechanic. Go in, buddy. Choo choo. Oh, how do you? How do you go there? Oh, you just mash it anyway. There's no tactics to this. Spam that shit. What happens when you dookie ball? I'm dookie balling. Bang. <laughs> There's no no points to not dookie balling. Bang! It makes a little squishy noise still. What if I can abandon midway? Leave me alone. Oh! What? It puts me back at the start. And I have no carts! <laughs> oh no! We're back, we're back. Huh, that was a waste of time. My bad. It's gotta be my favorite thing about these events as well. There's just new music, new areas always. It's so enjoyable. Hello, are you Hado from the Hado Hotel? Challenge failed. Ah, I guess you had repaired the tracks and stations as soon as I saw a cart come zipping along. <coughs> Hado, are you okay? Now that the tracks, station, and carts are all repaired, we're about ready to reopen Torrential Twister. It will be good to see my design back in action again. Oh, Ferdin's just jealous because Hado is the smart one. <sighs> You're in no condition to be out running around like this, Hado. <laughs> yeah, but these are unusual circumstances. You don't look too good, Hado. <clears throat> Take care of yourself, buddy. That's true. But you should stop to think things through. <laughs> he's always he's always angry mouthed. Exactly. If there's anything that needs to be done, you can just let Ferdinand and I take care well, of it. Whoa, Jerona and Ferdinand teaming up? <laughs> Wild. You and Ferdinand? Together? It would be a miracle for you two to do anything together without fighting. Hot of the ledge. Hey, that's between Jeremy and me. No need to add fuel to the fire, okay? Jerona, hey, they promised they wouldn't argue with Clearun. So as a thank you, we've decided to leave Klee here forever, because they would never be able to argue in front of her ever again. Uh, I'm not trying to make trouble. I'm just saying. Hey, Ferdinand. Hey, Ferd. Oh, uh, don't worry. We're not arguing, Klee. <laughs> We're just, uh, <laughs> discussing some things. <laughs> Are you and Jeremy worried about Hado? 
Because we have a healer. Hmm? Huh? Why don't you just talk to him about it? <laughs> Kaya's also worried about me sometimes, but he doesn't ever criticize me. <laughs> he does behind your back all the time. He just told us how annoying you were this morning when you didn't want to eat your pasta. You're right. But our relationship is much better than... <laughs> <laughs> That's so mean. Uh, well, our situation is a little different. You see, we're from Conria. Really? How so? We can't tell you, you're a little kid. We've been through this kind of thing before. If we didn't warn Hado, then he wouldn't take it seriously and something would eventually happen. Okay. As his brothers, we have to help him. Uh-huh. But it doesn't look like you're helping. <laughs> She's just talking smack. Maybe Klee doesn't understand everything. Yes. But my mommy told me that you help someone to make them feel happy, not to make yourself happy. Well, if that's something most people would understand, the world would be a better place. Hado sure doesn't look very happy. Hey. Why don't you ask him what he needs? She's just salting the wounds. Hmm. Hmm. Right not a bad idea. You three need to open up and talk things through. You are brothers after all. Hmm. <sighs> I, um... Ahem. I've always cared a lot about you, Hado. <laughs> just like when we were back in the desert. You suddenly passed out, and Jeremy and I started arguing. Eventually, all three of us ended up in this domain. Okay. I'm just worried that something similar could happen again. If you were to pass out and with nobody around to help you... I know. But this domain is nowhere near as dangerous as the desert. That's what you think. I was thinking that if I could handle these problems myself, then you two wouldn't have to argue about anything. Uh-huh. If it weren't for my poor health and lack of energy all the time, then I wouldn't have always been such a burden on you two. Hado, stop being so pick me, bro. No need to feel guilty, Hado. This was our choice. The three of us love adventuring. No one is a burden on anyone. Yeah. Isn't that why we came up with the idea for this area? I would do the thinking, Ferdinand would use his muscle, and you would... Uh, you, uh, you, um, w would cough around. <laughs> Draw the blueprints and build tracks. It'll be a safe way to see all kinds of amazing scenery. Okay. Yes, that was the plan. Cool. <laughs> see? Doesn't it feel better just to get along? Ah, I love that this is the exact the exact thing we talk about every mid-patch. Hey, what are you trying to say? You make it sound like I've only been trying to talk myself up. Yes. The choo-choo cart is great, Ferdinand. <laughs> really? <laughs> you know, Clee, having the car zip along the track Shut was up. my idea. Shut up. Yeah, what an amazing idea. You're so smart. <laughs> I hate this. Hey, Clee, do you want to ride even more fun carts? Yes. Yay! Let's ride more! <laughs> Looks like all three of them are trying to win Clee's approval now. Of course they are. And Clee's loving it. Clee hasn't realized it yet, but her innocent, childlike nature is very powerful. Can inspire and <laughs> the clapping. help heal others. Uh-huh. Hey, everyone. Please Kids kind of OP sometimes. We need to get the hydro idolin in the cart to help us. Uh huh. Sure. But this one's angry. Ride the choo choo cart and go activate the tracks. Dude, I love the choo choo cart. See you when we're there. <laughs> Boom. Elor, fill it with water. You got a little idol on. Yay. Big speed down the waterfall. Oh, I didn't even notice. That's cool. It's a little bottle. Return to. Uh, we don't even. Torrential twister is Do we get back on this? Let's go to the station at the start of the track. Board, sure. Oh no! Stop! <laughs> stop! I'm pressing space. Oh, you have to hold it. <laughs> Imagine the car just keeps going without us. Torrential twister. Hado and I have double checked everything. It's all operating safely. You can go for a ride now. I can feel our car flying off the rails. Hold on a sec. Before we say goodbye, I have something I'd like to give you all. Oh? It's a rock climbing rope. We used it on our adventures oh. to climb mountains and traverse many places. Exploration mechanic? For Fontaine, perhaps? Huh? But doesn't it mean a lot to you? Are you sure you want to give it to us? You have fixed our family. That means more than material wealth. Yes, of course. Please take it. Thanks to Clean, everyone just else rope. has helped. Just a rope. Realize that there's a special bond that keeps us together. Uh huh. Even though it's invisible, it's even more important than rope. I <laughs> see. Hold on to it through tough situations. Uh huh. Huh? I helped. No. <laughs> yes, Clee, you are a big help. Even bigger than that huge thing in the middle of this. Place? Way bigger than that, Clee. Do you, even the planet wouldn't be big enough to describe how big your help was. Yes, much bigger. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> By the way, have you ever seen anything like the Choo Choo card in the outside world? I was gonna say yes, but not in Genshin. Nope. Today was the first time I rode anything like it. We're in a boat before. Is that so? Dude, I want planes <laughs> in Genshin. I guess I'm not surprised. Seems you won't find Torrential Twister anywhere else. Hey, that's not the line. <laughs> there wasn't Torrential Twister, it was a streaming projector. Be sure to come back and ride the choo-choo carts again while you still have the chance. Sure. Yep, I will. We've got another 40 days of this. Wait, 40 days? Wait, is it 40 days? This patch long! <laughs> this a long boy! <laughs> All right, let's, let's hear them chat one more time. It feels like we're not going to see them again. For a while, anyway. Imagine if we could build our tracks all over the world. Traveling would be so much easier. Foreshadowing? <coughs> Do it without tracks. That would be insane, Hado. Be sure to come back and visit Torrential Twister again. Sure. I hope you enjoyed it. It's been pretty awesome sauce. I'm making awesome sauce thing again, by the way. Thanks again. I have a feeling we'll get along much better now that we've learned to open up to each other. Yeah, that's all it- you, that was it? There's no way. Some things are simpler than they appear. The real problem all along was actually us. Shocker. What were the other variables? Nothing. <laughs> you you only could have been the problem. Alright, board it. I'm on the wrong one. <laughs> I love this. I hope we get some teapot things from this area. We probably will with events and such. Kind of shame there's no events yet. I would have liked that. Ride a torrential twister. A hundred balloons to pop. Here we go. Here we go. That's what I was on about. Full speed. Yeah. Oh, it's not going very fast. I wanted to go fast enough for me to go motion sick. Are you okay, Kokomi? No. Ah! Do it. You won't. That's not true. That is absolutely not true. And if it is, that's sad. This ain't Vegas. Get the Dookie too. Why would I not get the Dookie? Oh, we need to do this. Oh yeah, it unlocks tracks, that's what it does. We. Like nope, not true. Bang, I'm having the most fun. Whoa, whoa, this is pretty. Little like lights hanging out the ceiling? Whoa, it's a circle, I can't believe it. Got it, no way. I'm not using anything. Oh, <laughs> it's a zebra path or whatever it's called. No, don't make me complete it. I'm not punching nothing. Nope, nope. No, wow, I got- you can- there's like, actually difficult to fail this. We made it! We had so much fun! Klee can fly across the sky like a real mage now! I hope you'd be able to keep it, but I feel like you'd be too broken of a character, so we're gonna go back to normal life. She's about to throw up. <laughs> uh, guess that sorta makes sense? Not really. Wait, but if being able to fly makes you a mage? What does that make Kaya, since he's here too? A, uh, flying thief. <laughs> Nothing! Kaya's just a master thief! <laughs> Don't you remember, Paimon? Paimon, you dummy. Hmm. You're dummy, Paimon. Oh, right. Guess it slipped Paimon's mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry to bother our young mage, <laughs> but there's something a master thief would like to report. Do you still remember our mission? No. Uh oh. I was having so much fun that I almost forgot. It's over. We're supposed to be helping Adia look for the missing components, but don't worry. I've already got one. What? A missing component or an idea? <laughs> Get it? An idea. You mean you snatched it when we weren't looking? Yeah, he's a thief. <laughs> I didn't have to go that far. Where was it? In fact, the component we were searching for was actually that orange rope. Wow. If anything, you could say it came right into our hands at the right time. That's crazy. Let's head back and give it to Adia. Almost like oh, this whole place is scripted. Really have to go? Yes, Klee. Okay. Even though I want to keep playing, I know Adia is really important. We'll come back for expiration, I promise. And that's our wise mage. <sighs> Don't worry. Tonight, she'll be able to see stars in the water. And watch fish dance in the sky. <laughs> uh, seems Kokomi's out of it after that ride. Uh huh. Her face is completely blank and her lip was trembling while she was speaking. Even more than usual, blank? Uh, maybe we should have a rest for a while. Hey, no rush, Kokomi. Uh, huh? I thought I was keeping my composure pretty well. You look like you're about to fall flat. Don't worry. My mind her is eyes are so like. I'm used to this. We should head back to Idea. <laughs> How about we hold hands, Miss General? Klee will give you energy. Aww. Cute. She's gonna fall over. Uh, 
you're holding Klee's hand, the stars in the sky and the fish in the water have all disappeared. <laughs> I must have been seeing things from riding the cart. Uh huh. <sighs> Cute. What are you smiling about, Kokomi? She's just happy. Uh huh. Oh, <clears throat> nothing. Nothing at all. What are you ashamed about? What is there to be ashamed of? Kokomi, you nerdja? Being a little nerdja, Kokomi. Oh, what a jump. Lady, good to see you. I kind of wanted to jump in the middle pool there. Welcome back. Hello. Well, any good news? Yep. Oh, don't tell me. You've taken care of all the problems and now I don't have to do anything. <laughs> You won't be disappointed. Yep, yeah, took care of everything, you lazy ass. Yeah, we even rode the choo choo oh, cart. She jumped forward. Do you want to come ride too? Yes. Uh, ride with us. But maybe you'll have to wait till tomorrow. <laughs> I'm a little tired now. <laughs> nice. Seems she had a little too much fun and now she's about to crash. I think it's time for a rest. You'd be right. <laughs> Sorry about that. I got a text from an Alice of my own. Good idea. I think we could all use some downtime. So true. Thanks for giving me some energy, Klee. No problem. Then we'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> Look at her. Oh, I thought she was walking away. <laughs> Bye, Klee. Bye, Miss Honorary Knight. Bye, everyone. Where, where are you guys going to rest? Is there a hotel? <laughs> How unusual. Everyone's smiling. Look at all four. It sounds like our young mage enjoyed herself. Yep. I'm so happy that she had a good time. Uh-huh. So, back to the missing component. Did you bring it? Kaya has it. You bet! Kaya said that the missing component was this orange climbing rope. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, it just occurred to me that you probably ran into the three brothers while you were in the cave. We did indeed. If I remember it's correctly, a reference, right? the two eldest brothers were taking their sickly younger brother on adventures when they ran into a sandstorm and ended up here. And now they live here. They were all arguing with one another when they first arrived, but it wasn't long before they broke <laughs> down and were huddled together in tears. <laughs> of course. Uh, they sure must have a lot of energy to keep up their bickering and adventuring every day. Yep. I'm a little worried about them, yet quite envious of all that energy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you almost sound as if you're reminiscing about old friends, Idia. Mm-hmm. People like maybe Alice. Yes, I've known them for quite some time after all, but I seldom go to that area. How come you have blue hair like them? You can hold on to the rope for now, Traveler. I have no use for it until we have the other components. So it's not an exploration mechanic, sad. By the way, Eula and Kale have also returned, but I'm afraid they weren't able to make much headway. What a shocker. They mentioned that they would like to head to the jungle north of here, once you have all rested up. Alright, I understand. You should, you're very worried all the time. You, should, you shouldn't worry so much about it. I see you trembling. We're cool. Don't worry about it. Now that I've told you everything, I'll go rest. <laughs> uh, rest. I mean, I'll go and check on the situation in the remaining two areas. All right, I believe that. Need to accompany you? Of course not. She's gonna go sleep, bro. Oh, uh, no, it's all right. You've already accomplished a lot today. You should rest up. Thanks. Thanks. It's so sweet of you. An invitation from afar, part one, secret summer. Blah 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 blah. Zip along, and I think the next part will not be out for a while. So that's it, and I assume the same will be here. Whoa, whoa. That is a cool Sumeru fit. Dagger Bandit. Wow. That almost makes me want to build Kaya. <laughs> Definitely gonna be a Kaya building video with the skin eventually. Hey, welcome back. What a welcome, what a lovely intro for <laughs> this. Hey everybody, welcome back to day two. I pulled whether you guys wanted to see episodes or one big part, and most people said one big part. It wasn't a lot of people, but it doesn't matter. They got the majority, and democracy prevails. <laughs> Let's go to the Silver Bottle Courtyard over here and get started with the second part of this story quest, which I think just has three parts. We didn't really get left on a cliffhanger last time. I guess we're just gonna do someone else's area this time. Uh, Eula's it was, I believe. Eula and Kole's. Yep, look at them. They're right there. Hey, Kole and Eula! Oh, Adia is here too! Adia! No way! Adia, this is wild that you're here. Hey, it's the Traveler and Paimon! It's a shocker, right? How are you? Did you rest well? I'm feeling refreshed. Yep. Not really. This is a comfortable place to rest. I guess that's one thing here that's better than the desert. Yeah, there's but water. other than that, there's not much going for this place. Why are you talking down on this place so much? Saying 
saying things like that isn't going to help, Adia. She's right. But it's the truth. The desert is full of terrible memories for me. Being there was like, yeah, like wading through thick mud. Okay, but you were talking smack about this place, no? That's a weird way to put it. Actually, if you hadn't mentioned it, Paimon would have already forgotten that this domain is in the desert. Same. I know what you mean. The air here isn't at all like the desert. Mm -hmm. It's very humid. Almost as if we're in the rainforest. Mm -hmm. It's a very familiar feeling for me. Lovely. So you're not even on a holiday. <sighs> Everyone looks well rested. If you're ready, we can start making our way to the jungle north of here. Heck yeah. Good luck, everyone. I'll be rooting for you. Of course you will, lazy ass. Oh, hold on. I said we, didn't I? Hmm. No need to say goodbye, <laughs> because you're coming too. Haha, <laughs> our blue hair has more dominance than you. Huh? But wait, uh, I'm, I'm just the mascot. Yeah, you need to come cheer us on on our missions. You can't back out this time, Adia. The manager of the fairgrounds is waiting to see you. Oh. She said Adia is the only person who could help. Oh, the fairgrounds? Yes, Kale and I discovered a fairgrounds in the forest. You're joking. The person in charge of it seems to be a Spotamod scholar. Oh? A scholar? But what's she doing there? Researching the forest ley lines? There's nowhere there's... If this is little domain, there's no ley lines in here. Oh, I wish there were ley lines here that I could ever study. Anyway, I know who you're talking about. I'd better come along then. Ah, look at that. That was easy to convince. Let's go. Part 2, look at me the intro card. Mirage, Paradise, and Crisis. Oh no! Secret, 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 secret. This thing should carry me up, I feel. I should just be able to glide. Oh, you can't even jump into it. Well, that's disappointing. Okay, how does one get north? I feel like running. <laughs> Following a trail. Gathering tail. What does it entail? <laughs> uh, this, the, the next part of our tail. On a treasure trail. Oh, no, dude, we're here. Keep heading forward even more forward. Gonna get... Die. A tutorial. I'm killing so many squirrels. I'm sorry. <laughs> Scenic barrel. Something's off. Something is off. I will admit, something is off about that. I like those. Those are some cool challenges. Leave me alone. Why, Alice? Why would you put hillatrolls in your crazy domain? It don't make no sense. Something's off? <laughs> Here's another waypoint. I'm not making myself suffer through not getting waypoints ever again. Here's another one of these challenges. Would have gone to pop up anyway. Oh, never mind. Is it another blue hair froggy? Thank you. Not blue hair froggy, but... <laughs> oh, finally, Hello. someone has arrived. We've got your daughter, or whoever it is. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mimuna. We've Mimuna. brought Idea with us. Pretty name. Thank you, Kale. It's been quite some time since I've seen you, Idea. To be honest, I didn't think you'd actually show up. Why is this girl hiding every all the time? If anything, I thought you'd be curled up somewhere crying alone. Haha, <laughs> more bullying. Love to see you. Wow, lovely. Hey. You shouldn't be saying things like that. What do you mean, dude? Bullying so funny. Mm. This doesn't seem to be the first time Hyman's heard someone say that about Adia, though. I know. You wanna see me cry? Fine. I'll stop crying right here. Okay, she maybe is a bit much. <laughs> maybe you're over exaggerating a little bit. Like I understand people shouldn't be so rude, but at the same time, don't push it. Uh, no, please don't. Please no crying. No emotions here. Right, all right, I shouldn't have said that. Now, who are these two? Hello, I'm Retnos. And Paimon is Paimon! Mm-hmm. They're reliable helpers. Lucky for you that I found them. You'd better okay, be more careful about speak to them, okay? Oh, she's protecting us? Of course. Thanks. Good to meet you. You may call me Maymuna. Hey, Maymuna. For the sake of time, we should forego the usual pleasantries. Please, follow me. I feel like there, there's more. The pleasantries would have actually been interesting for once. Hello, yes. I'm a water spirit as well. That's why my eyes glow. Or I'm Conrian. I can't decide. I like this aesthetic, though. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Like the little flowers. Okay. <laughs> I love walking around as Lumine. I can't... You know what? Blue Lumine. Like, blue vision Lumine. It's gonna look so good with the outfit. Oh, I'm, I'm excited for that. Actually, Lumine main for once? Blue Mean. Holy shit. Wow. Indeed, that's what I'm saying too. Look at that huge tent! Oh, that's what's impressing you? I thought Blue Mean was a pretty sick play on words. Amazing, isn't it? Yes. I helped make it. What <laughs> fun would a fairground be without a tent, right? You're awful. Really? <gasps> that's gonna be great. I knew you couldn't be so pathetic. <laughs> wow. You modest all the time to hide your actual ability. Uh, right. Right. Yeah, I thought that too. Uh, Huh? <laughs> what is it, Kale? Oh? Uh, sorry. 
I'm not sure if I should tell you. That's very annoying when people do that. Please tell us. I'm afraid it might dampen the mood. Dampen it. Please dampen it. That's not important. Please, just speak your mind. Thank you, Yula, my queen. Uh, well, there are lots of vendor booths set up here. Yeah. But there's no one running them. Mm-hmm. In fact, there is no one at this fair at all. Yeah. It looks pretty deserted. Don't you think we're gonna have to, that's why we're here. We're fixing the whole place up. That's what we did in the last area too. Oh my God, I figured it out. All the little blue balls are people and all the little blue balls will take the shape of humans and they will occupy this area and then we'll get a cutscene of Klee running around, testing all the food, playing all the games. The truth Crack is, the clue. this used to be an exciting and bustling place. When, 500 years ago? <laughs> But just a few days oh. <laughs> ago, something happened. A little bit shorter. It seemed like... Yeah. Like... The, the world was flipped up, flipped up, up down. I thought so too. And uh, the Prince of Bel-Air showed up. Yes, exactly. Something fell from the central hub into the tent and knocked down the crystal light that was hanging at the top. Oh no. Oh, the crystal light. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I remember a certain someone said that we should have beautiful lights to celebrate at a fair. Yeah. And made us that crystal light. Was it this girl? But once the light fell, the tent became a complete mess and the hydro idolins were trapped inside. Hmm. <laughs> Just when I was at my wit's end, a man from the Lawrence clan came hey. and offered his assistance. She's gonna be like, what? Lawrence, dude? I don't know that name. That's crazy. It's like my family. Wait, he offered to help you? But he would never help anyone. Yes, and he refused to listen to any of my warnings. He just walked straight into the tent and then... Died. Yes, and then... <laughs> yeah, don't leave us What a cliffhanger. We, I mean, we interrupted her. She was probably just going to finish the sentence. And that's it. He became trapped inside along with the Hydro Idolans. All right, I'm going in. Oh no, we have to do something. We can't just leave him there, Maimuna. Oh yeah, watch me. I know, but the situation inside might be more difficult than you think. This reminds me you of SpongeBob again. Prepare yourselves. Okay, I'm prepared. <laughs> Give it a second. Yula's Just prepared. Just talking about it is a waste of time. See? Since we're already here, let's go and scout out the situation ourselves. Yes. <sighs> all right. This way, please. Oh, she's not really fighting it at all. She's just like, yep, sure, let's go and do it. I'm all for it. Enter the big tent. Is this going to be like a domain? Oh? Oh? Maybe it's bigger from the inside than it looks. There used to be a large stage inside, but yeah. after everything got shaken up, it seems the There's very nature of the entire place was altered. Maimuna, someone's listening in. There's a man. The lamps and crystal light that were hanging above have all fallen down, which makes repairs near impossible. Okay. Wait, so you mean it's difficult to move around in there? Apparently. Yes. Low mainly gravity. Because of the lights. Low gravity area. Do any of you have experience being on stage? Oh yeah, all the Once time. Once the stage lights turn on, everyone's attention is focused on you. But there's no one here. Uh, I can't stand that feeling. Having everyone's attention focused solely on me would just make me feel terrible. Same. Me too. I kind of want to try it though. Speaking in front of people, and then to have everyone staring at you. Literally, what's oh, happening? Just the thought of it. Oh shit. Sure. <laughs> Sounds like you have some things you haven't been able to let go of yet. Uh-huh. Please don't laugh. Haha. Uh -huh. I'm trying my <laughs> best to change that, but there are still some things I can't overcome. Yeah, it takes time. Like when there's a lot of people around, or when people are staring at me. Yeah, it's pretty embarrassing. I get it. No, there's nothing funny about that. And you know what? It's not a bad thing to care when other people are looking. Yes, yeah, for stealth. <laughs> That's my opinion anyway. Think about it. Only people who have high standards for themselves would worry about failing to meet others' expectations. I like the little clown music during this deep talk. It's truly, it, it puts some emphasis on it. You have many good qualities, Kale. I bet if you had to learn dance since childhood like myself, then you'd be an even better dancer than me. Wow. No, what no a compliment. Way. That would be impossible. But you're the dance queen. I can relate. I know exactly how she feels. <laughs> Maybe we should find a time for you to learn with me. Oh, And one cute. day, you will become an outstanding dancer, too. I would love By to learn time, dancing from you. you'll be so focused on performing your beautiful moves that you'll no longer worry about an audience watching you. Sure. Wow. You are so passionate about this that she's practically glowing now. Nah, that's just a circus lights in the back. Really? You do that? You wouldn't think I look stupid and secretly laugh at me. Oh, I totally would do you? that. It's actually a prank. You're on the camera. You've been pranked right now, actually. Look, right there, behind the box, a cameraman. Look, oh, over there, behind Paimon, cameraman. Oh, oh, wow, behind Yula, even cameraman. Everywhere, cameraman. 
You've been pranked. Ha. <laughs> Got him. You really think I'm that kind of person? Ha. <laughs> Fine. Vengeance will be mine. Ah, that's been so long. Thank you for saying the iconic line. Oh, no. Of course not. Uh, all right. Please teach me. <laughs> Just forced into... Listen, either you respect what I'm saying, or I will avenge myself for you not listening, I guess? Seems there's no need for me to warn you again. <laughs> anyway, you just need to open the curtain and you'll be able to see the stage. All right, come on. I'm so excited. I want to see this. Get me in. Get me in, coach. Oh my god, rotate the lamp. Whoa! It is bigger from the inside. I like this. It's cool. So I'm trial double elements that do nothing together. Love to see it. What's that thing in the middle there? A clown ball. That's my crystal light. It's been locked up. Oh, oh no. Let's figure out a way to fix it. A jester hat. Looks like we need to raise the platform underneath Dude, the crystal light. I if I remember correctly, like the stage controls should be somewhere around here. I'm not a fan of circuses because they're like loud. <laughs> Bam! All uh, all light removed. That was it. It's flying away. Wait, I don't understand. There's still two locks on it though. It seems we have to use the colorful lens to make the light change colors. Ah, of course. Classic, classic circus thing, right? I remember seeing this all the time at the circus. Leave me alone. No, this one, this like when the, when the lion gets free from the cage and tries to kill you in the circus. Another grand classic in the circus. All right, it's fine. They added elements to the enemies so that we could actually still get reactions. Yes, the lens is made of materials that are easily melted by light. Oh, nor. Is it me or... Do I smell something sweet here? I thought she said something sweat. Yeah, look, the flowers are candy, Cole. Install light. That's one way of shining new light on the problem. <laughs> hey, <Maymoon? laughs> do you happen to know someone named <laughs> ah, Nice one. Yeah, never yeah. heard that name before. Why do you ask? Because oh, you're hilarious. I, mean, I was just thinking you two would have a lot in common. Oh. <clears throat> Back to the situation at hand. Yeah. We should probably head into the passageway that opened now. There's a man. <laughs> Look at the man. <laughs> He's hiding his smile in his jacket. I used to, when I was shy, I used to do that too, man. I get it. Anyway, I'm getting this because I think it's instanced. Uh, if we can't get back in here, then I'm sorry. If we cannot, I mean, good thing I'm Hello? grabbing it. Is anyone here? Yes. If you can hear me, please help. Okay, I'm gonna get, I've, maybe we knew, know his name? Rob, Robert. Robert Lawrence. Lessig Lawrence? Lessig, yeah, that would have been my second guess. Who are you? Who has the audacity to utter my full name? Who has the arrogance to be hurt on the floor and still complain? Uh, you sure don't look like you're in exactly. any condition to be talking like that. High five, Paimon. Nice. Yep, he's a member of the Lawrence clan, all right. Uh-huh. Even though he's hanging on by a thread. He still insists on clinging to meaningless etiquette. You're telling me he doesn't recognize Eula. You. What are you doing here? Hey, say her name. Respect her. Huh. Have you come here to mock me, Eula? Yes. Loser. Haha. <laughs> if you would just think for a moment, it should be pretty obvious why we are here. Yet, now you're intentionally trying to provoke me? Yeah. Of course. You don't Weirdo. have to accept my help. Hit him with the big After lollipop all, in the back. Aristocrats are naturally superior and need no help from others. <laughs> Salt in the wound. Yes, thanks for the reminder. I don't need help from the likes of you. All right, well, die here then, I guess. I don't think he really needs it, Eula. Oh, we know. You're a little dummy sometimes, Cole, not gonna lie. Tone was harsh, but he keeps glancing at you from the corner of his eyes. Mm -hmm. It's my opinion as a healer that he needs help. Okay, give him a roleplay role. What is he, since you're roleplaying still? Okay. <laughs> he's been trapped for so long that it seems he's forgotten how to hold a decent conversation. <laughs> how ridiculous. Let's Thank you, go. Knight. We'll leave the stage to this person who'd rather save face than save his own life. Oh yeah, this is smart. No, wait, come back. Wait, no, wait. <laughs> <sighs> Halt! You cannot just leave me here. Halt. We're both of the Lawrence bloodline after all. Uh-huh. Helping me when necessary certainly won't tarnish your prestige. Mm -hmm. If anything, my embarrassing predicament will be overshadowed by your virtuous deed. <laughs> we must uphold the prestige and dignity of the family. Tell me someone was recording. We have this in 4K, right? This is the best reason you could come up with? You think tacking on the word family will be enough to talk me into helping you? Oh, I love this sentence so much. I love- this is so 
What a nice sentence. I love this. You should be ashamed for your careless actions. Nice point. It's because of you that we all had to come here. Yeah, she's right. I... Uh... You what? Seems everyone in the Lawrence clan is this way. They'll do anything to save face. Well, we did come here all the way just to save him. Alright, alright. Looks like it's time for the mascot to step in. How about you shut up for a little bit, huh? There you go. One for Eula and one for Lessig. One lollipop. What is this? Candy? It's healing. Special healing balm. Special special revive food. F Tavat fried egg in, in the lollipop. Uh, thanks. No problem. That's what the mascot is for. Oh, the smell. It's just like the aroma I smell coming from the lens. Oh my god, it's it's sugar. It's it's like uh it's sugar glass. I don't know what it's called in English. Yes, that's right. Enjoying something sweet. That's why it melts in the light. The mood. Oh, thank you, Miss Mascot. Uh, I certainly He's role playing along. Better now. He's calling her Miss Mascot. He's also role play boy. <laughs> so he's willing to thank someone else, but not me. Yeah, of course. He's got a big grudge. Eula has been worrying about you the past few days, and asked me several times regarding how to find you. Uh-huh. Eula's just by far the best Lawrence person, so everyone's jealous. But now that you two have been reunited, I won't have to keep answering her questions anymore. Wow. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. She is unbearable. <laughs> Let me clarify one thing. I don't care what happens to him. If you're going to keep saying nonsense like this, then... I demote you from mascot role, and you're now... Lapdog. Eula will never admit that she actually cares about him. You're speaking out loud, Cole. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> if you're going to keep saying nonsense like this, then... Uh, then at least give me another piece of candy. <laughs> hmm? Huge. Oh, uh, sure, sure. Uh, I still have more. She is a blade master. She could just knock your head off if she wanted to. Sorry. I admit Ooh. my mistake. I know I've caused heaps of trouble for all of you. Wait, he apologized to Eula as well just because he got candy? You are a child. <sighs> Why couldn't you have just said that earlier? She's right. I'm back. Oh, have you already finished catching up? Why are you all looking at me? You're in the spotlight. It was a rule, an old, unspoken, untold, unwritten rule. Oh, uh, nothing. Don't mind us. Probably your glowing eyes. Why is no one talking about the glowing eyes? All right. Then let's clean things up here and keep working our way toward getting the crystal light fixed. All right. Ah, there's no need to push yourself in your condition, Lessig. Yeah, you take a break, man. You've been you've been working so hard. I'll take him and find some place for him to rest. I happen to be a little tired myself. Hmm. All right. I'll leave my cousin to you then. You'd better rest up and regain your strength before we settle things, Lessig. Yeah. Is there more to be settled? We're not done yet. I like the aesthetic of everything else here. Oh, stairs. Or ladder, I guess. Hello, there's a man. If there's any way to keep hey. the platform higher. Why didn't you help? We'll need to find a mechanism that's like a lamp. Use the man. <laughs> Rotate the lamp. Oh my God, it's gonna open a doll. Unlocks pad padlock. Is that really the Lessig that I know? I don't know. Shouldn't always judge people based on the way you knew them before. Install brilliant people mirror. change, and people can always make different choices. Why is she here? Still. Oh look! There's All lights removed. Hello. Hydroidolin. He's spinning. He must have been trapped in the curtain. Spinny boy. But at least it seems to be okay. I feel like these things could like phase through walls. What well, you're doing a whole play? Oh, 2D world. Hell yeah. Unlock and raise the crystal light. I should do. I. Oh, yo, I'll teleport. It's it's a magical hat. It's like Super Mario. <laughs> oh my god. Kind of cool, actually. Kind of cool. Not gonna lie. Very cool, even. I'm dead. I jumped in the pit. Okay. Beep, boop, beep, beep, boop, beep, beep. I did it. I like that. I need to check whether you can or cannot come back into this because these do seem like very cool exploration things. And then we can install it here. Wow. Paimon thought it looked big from the outside. This place is massive. That's what I'm saying. It's it bigger from the inside. After all. There you go. The magical. Is much larger than it appears from the outside. I knew it. Haven't you heard stories with this sort of thing before? In fairy tales? Door of Resurrection? Oh, another path! This should be the last level. Dude, you're crazy. Yes, don't worry. We're almost to the top of the tent. The top of the tent? What in the world is going on there? The last thing we need to do is raise the crystal light to the very top of the tent. All right. After the stage collapsed, I realized that having it raised only halfway makes it look a lot like the stage at the Grand Bazaar. True. 
Have any of you visited the Grand Bazaar before? Many times. No, I haven't. I have. I've gone there a few times with Master Tainari. I've saved the world there. The place is bustling with all kinds of vendors. And if you're lucky, you can see Nilu perform her dance. True. Oh, a dance from Sumeru? Oh, true. <laughs> I'd like to see that myself. I can imagine. Hmm. If only it were on the way back, then we could stop there. We can make it on the way back. It doesn't matter if it's on the way or not. I would be happy to take you whenever you have time, Eula. Nice. Great. I'll take you up on that offer. We've been there. Yeah, now that Paimon thinks about it, we've already been there more times than Paimon can remember. 396 samsaras. Really? My father used to help with festivities at the Grand Bazaar and would always give me candy during the events. Dude, your dad is Dunyarzad's boyfriend? Who is it again? What's what's his name? The, the Knight of Flowers, the Flower Knight. I was knight. just a kid and didn't understand anything. I was happy as long as he gave me some candy. To me, fairs and festivals were the best things ever. That is indeed a child's brain. I always thought my father was amazing and wanted to be just like him when I grew up. But aren't you a scholar in the academia, Mimuna? As far as I know, scholars seldom could spend time doing anything but Her research. Eyes. <laughs> I doubt you could have time to assist your father in preparing festivities. Uh huh. Yeah, seems here's you the sad like arc. Oh no. When I had the choice between becoming who I wanted to be and who my parents wanted me to be, I ended up choosing the latter. But I was never happy about but it. But look, now you're running a crazy park. It's great. That's almost the exact opposite of you, the situation. Right. You must have already realized that. Why else would you set up all the booths here and make this place like a fairground? Real. Yes, but I'm still not as happy as I imagined I would be. Aww. I realized that attending a fair and running a fair are two completely different things. Yes, you've grown up. <laughs> Welcome to the world of grown-ups. The main reason my childhood was so fun this and carefree seen. is because my family worked hard. Yeah. But my father knew how difficult and tiring running a fair could be, so he wanted to push me towards academics. Mm-hmm. <sighs> but in the end, I didn't do well in either. Well, it's not like academics would be that much easier on you. I gave up on myself and resorted to investigating ley lines in the desert. Alright. Some things happened and then I accidentally ended up here. All these people that accidentally end up here never leave. Is this a prison? Is this a secret prison? Finally had a chance to make my wish of running a fair come true. Yeah. But after seeing everything come crashing down... I feel like I've lost the strength to go on. No. It's not as bad as you make it out to be, Maymuna. No need to feel so down. Nice, Kole. You have the courage to change, and you've been actively guiding us on this journey. So true. Someone who's given up on themselves could never do these things. Slay. Oh, Kole. I understand my situation better than anyone. You don't need to try to comfort me. <laughs> okay. It's not that I'm trying to comfort you. It's just that... People sometimes don't realize that their actions speak louder than words. Uh-huh. Believe me, this is something that I learned from my time together with Eula. Wow. Oh, what are you trying to say? That you're a great teacher, Sensei. Oh, uh, <laughs> nothing. <clears throat> now, let's get that crystal light fixed. Yes. All right. Good. Not too much emo arc, please. Friends, where's the music? Please go like patim patu pim patum patu dum patim pim patam pa pum pa pa da. Thank you. La li di di la da 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 do. And now what? Install brilliant mirror. Yes, brilliant job. Brilliantly performed. Maybe I can parkour like this. <laughs> I can't. All right, fine. I'll rotate you back then. Screw you anyway. Yep. Yep. Cole agrees. You've unlocked one padlock here. Have this. Rotato potato. Two padlocks. One more. There's more. More. I'm using the projector. Whoa, balls! Careful of the balls. <laughs> you have five lives. Okay, I was gonna say, that would have been... <laughs> yes. Hey, get off it, little croc. You won't. You won't attack me. It's a new ride. King Croc. That's what it was. What a weirdo. Install Brilliant Mira. Good. That should do it. Yes. Surely. All light removed. Oh my god, we've created darkness. Splash. Whoa. Okay, it's a pretty light. It's a pretty light. Have to be honest. Whoa. Everything's lighting up. Whoa. Wonderful. Oh my god, inside the darkness of the mountain. Ley lines. 
Hey, are you, are you guys chilling or what? We fixed it, look. It's shining everywhere. Oh, I was starting to wonder what was taking you so long. But don't worry, Lessig is recovering well. Listen up, Missy, we had an emo arc. <laughs> I'm pretty good at taking care of people. Seems I found another good thing about myself. There are so many good things about you. I don't know if I should be worried for him or <laughs> happy for her. Bit of, bit of both? Neither both? Bit of both? The shadow. It's massive. Uh-huh. Oh, wait. Shadow just now, it's... <sighs> it's ha. Huh. He, he, I feel like he is acting a lot more scared than what his voice made me believe. Uh, uh, seems he still might need a little more time to recover. Oh, Island. Tell me, did everything go well for you all? Someone's playing Skyblock in the background. Of course. With a team like the Traveler, Paimon, Kale, and Eula, they're at least 40 times more Ooh. reliable than you ever were. Ooh. Why? Why? Why would you do that? Only 40 times more reliable? That means I'm still pretty good then. <laughs> it does mean only 10 per person. <sighs> it's impossible to feel like you've lost once you've already given up. Yeah. I'm a little concerned about how comfortable you are with that. Yeah. Huh? What has happened? How did I get outside of the tent? We've saved you. Oh, that's right. I remember meeting you, La. Mm -hmm. And then... Uh, and then... Oh, my head. Yep, I remember your head too. We hit you with a lollipop. Oh, you're awake now. Uh, don't worry. Th that's just a side effect of your treatment, Lessig. Oh. I'm afraid I still feel a little disoriented. They're trying to convert you to a water droplet. Scared to ask what kind of treatment he's receiving. <laughs> I tell you, lollipop on the head bonk. Lessig Lawrence. Ooh. Oh, it's you, Eula. All right, all right, I'll do it. Uh-huh. I'll come back to Mondstadt with you and... Abandon my wild efforts <laughs> to restore the Lawrence clan. What was the intent, though? Like, you came here, I understand, to restore the Lawrence clan, but in, in what way would coming here have helped? Or the desert? Interesting. Now you want to talk. Seems like you've had a change of heart. Right. In that case, maybe you'll be able to explain everything in detail for us now. Oh, lore time. I, uh, I admit it. Yes. Came here in hopes of finding a we way knew. to restore the Lawrence clan to its... Former glory. But how? But it was a long journey, and I didn't always know the way. I passed through Liyue and Sumeru. Uh-huh. There was even a time when I lost my wallet and had to live in the wild. <laughs> Kenshin is nothing like this when we walk around. I don't know what you're going through, man. But the peculiar thing is, I realized that nobody knew me out there. Uh-huh. Not a single person even cared about the Lawrence clan. Maybe if you were less arrogant. You and I are like glass pawns that were raised in shackles. Yes. We were taught to act like nobles, uh -huh. but outside the walls of our home, the people of Mondstadt despised us. It's true. Such pompous, hateful, and stubborn teaching all culminated to making us cling to the old aristocratic dogma in an attempt to maintain our pride. Pretty sure that's what Eula's been saying forever. It's like a never-ending game of tug-of-war, but it is meaningless. You understand. Oh, there he goes. Or I should say, you have already long understood, but I'm afraid that I have only just realized this. I, I respect it still, and being honest about it, I like that. Understands what Lessig is saying. Yeah, you're probably too young for this, Paimon, you dummy. Everything he said is true. Your family is probably unaware that you've already changed how you see things. Mm hmm Yes. This has all happened recently. Coming to this domain, I realized the Mondstadt that I want is one where not everyone fears me. Yes. All that I and many other members of the Lawrence clan long for is a place where we can live peacefully with others. You know... If you do good deeds all the time, maybe people will still respect your clan. For different reasons, though. Lessig, both you and I never had anything to do with the glory of the Lawrence clan. That is all in the past. Uh-huh. We are just ordinary people. True. I originally planned on returning to Mondstadt after taking care of things here. Taking care of what things? I never things? thought you would come here. I was completely shocked, which is why I reacted like I did. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay, I guess. See, people can always make different choices. And it seems that Lassik has also chosen to become someone he truly wants to be. Uh-huh. <clears throat> yes, about that. 
I'm afraid I haven't quite found my own purpose in life yet. Sure. That's all right. Being able to clearly choose between becoming who you want to be and who your parents wanted you to be is already a step in the right direction. True, true, true. How to find true happiness is probably one of the most difficult research topics of all. It's always so deep now in, in Genshin quests. I just, I want to make funny jokes, but now it's always like real life situations telling children they shouldn't listen to their parents and all that. <laughs> I have a suggestion for you, Lessig. Oh, become an adventurer. Why don't you return to Mondstadt and tell your parents what you just told us? Nah, he wouldn't dare. <laughs> They'll probably try to tear me limb from limb, but... What about you? Do you ever tell your family about what you think? Yes. This is something that I've been thinking about too. Perhaps the two of us can sit down with Whoa. the rest of the clan and discuss it with them. How cool would it be if we got a Lawrence clan flip around arc? That would be sick. The Lawrence clan is just like this stage. It was once home to glorious performances, but those days are now long gone. But now we're dogs. It's time for the stage to be updated. Yeah, the Loserins clan. She's so solid and tough, but also clear and open, like an ice cube. <laughs> is that why she's able to dance anytime and anywhere she wishes? Yes, because she is, in fact, an ice cube. Um, are you all done talking now? Oh yeah, because you always get to talk all the time and vent and compliment yourself, but we don't? Yes, I think so. By the way, that is for you. Please take it. I found it on Lessig earlier. Ah, uh, it's a piece of the puzzle. Shocker. Oh, it's one of the missing components! Wait, so you had it all this time? Yes. Why didn't you give it to me earlier? Because you were being mean. Well, you didn't ask. <laughs> all right, I admit it. I forgot about it. Dummy. <laughs> okay, we'll let the traveler hold on to it for now. Oh, thanks. Am I just a pack mule? Hmm? Wait, this looks like... Oh. It looks pretty familiar. Have we seen one of these before? It's a candy box. Oh, ah, right. I also bought a similar box at the last festival. Was it one of those candy boxes that we keep picking four and it's like, oh my god, it's four again. Oh my god, it's four again. Yes, people often use this kind of box for candy at festivals. This was one of the materials originally used to create the tent. All right. But now that the tent has been repaired, we no longer need it. Neat. Eating the candy from the box as an adult will never be as delicious as it was when you were a kid. It is. But if you really think about it, there are way more things you That's can eat as point. an adult. That's the point. You shouldn't think about it, lady. That's the point. Ah, so when it comes down to it, eating candy is sort of like life. It's just another choice. Yep, get fat and enjoy the food, or don't get fat. <laughs> hmm. hmm. So, as of now, we've already collected three of the missing wow. components. Only one more to go. That's wild. We're I'm speeding sorry up. That repairing the tent took so much of everyone's time. Yeah, I'm so you tired. Head back and have a rest. Sure. I'll lead the way. All right. Is some drama gonna happen? Familiar looking candy box. The girl would become the thing with the things. I love things. I'm going here. Oh, look at the colors here. It's so like nice and pastel and hi Lumine. I'm sorry, Lumine. I'm sorry, but bam, this will be a memory forever. Come back, Lumine. Smile. Smile for the camera. <laughs> it looks like such a painful smile. It's like she was just reminded of her fate in Tavat. Like, think of Tavat. What does it make you feel? And she's like, ha, huh, I, I love it here. It's pretty, but also where the, f where's my sibling? Oh yeah, just, yeah. There you go. I'm reaching the top of it. Kokomi-san. Kokomi. Hey, you're already here. Kokomi. Hello. Oh, you're back. I trust your adventures to the forest went smoothly. Well, as smoothly as they can go in an adventure game that, that you have to solve problems in yes i don't know why i made it so complicated yep you could say that how about you up to anything today chilling chilling like a fish well i suppose it's time i told you that as the divine priestess of watatsumi island yeah i shouldn't actually be here now shocker the truth is that a relic known as the shinro casket was lost from watatsumi island long ago okay but recently an orb matching the relic's description suddenly began emitting light. I see. Almost as if it was guiding people to it. This is what led me to find the relic's whereabouts. So you came here looking for something? That's what you meant with broadening your horizons? I wasn't lying when I said that. Coral has often told me that sitting at home reading light novels is not the best of practices, and that I should try to get up more. Yeah, he wants to be walked. 
As I made my way from Watatsumi Island to Sumeru, and you forgot him. I enjoyed a variety of breathtaking sights. It really is a beautiful nation. I even stayed in the rainforest for several days. Wow. I was surprised to find that the relic had ended up in the desert. I see. I knew it was somewhere here, but I still couldn't pinpoint the exact location. Okay. Though I feel that Idea was not intentionally trying to hide anything from us, this domain does have plenty of secrets. I'm sure you've sensed that too. I don't know. This is an unusual place, and Idea would suddenly become very busy from time to time. Plus, she knows Alice. Now that you mention it, a lot did happen today. Uh huh. You tell Kokomi everything that happened at the fairgrounds. Hmm. Not that much. I see. When you found Lessig, did you also happen to find any clues related to this domain? Uh, no. I'm afraid that he was caught up in his thoughts and didn't pay attention to his surroundings. Actually, before the world was flipped upside down, this domain didn't look anything like this. You know what? It's a sun. It's the f world was flipped upside down, which means the underground becomes the heavens, and the heavens becomes the underground. Which means, which means that Conra is heaven, <laughs> and the floating land that I keep forgetting the name of, Narnia, <laughs> is hell. Hey, Interrupting your conversation. Maybe you should have like watched from the distance then. It's all right. It's not okay. Kinsu did a lot today. Care to join me for a cup of tea? No. Sure. <laughs> that would be perfect. Yula and I just made some snacks. Oh, what you make? Turns out Idea has a cooking stove and oven. Seriously, why didn't she mention it earlier? She's a dummy and doesn't need any of that. Oh, so did you make us some moon pies? Oh, moon pies. No. Oh. I made something called storm crust pie. Okay. You should try one, traveler. You should call it storm crust pie. Because, <laughs> you know, because a pie, it has crust. Cru like the crust around the pie. Except if it's a crustless pie, then you shouldn't call it storm crust. Because then you can mess up the crust and it's still like funny because it's like, oh yeah, there was storm, so the crust got a... <clears throat> and I made some pita pockets. You no can way. try some kokumi. It should taste great with tea. <laughs> Absolutely not, though. <laughs> pita pockets and tea? Nah. Uh, Sorry, I should call you General. No. Oh, I would be happy to try some. By the way, Yula, how's your cousin doing now? Dead again. Oh, him. <laughs> you would never guess, but he's busy over by the oven now. He wants to be a chef. He wants to cook at a meal. Hey, Mirage Paradise and Crabs Part 2 complete. Already? Wow, that was kind of a short act. Okay, cool. Little bottle. We're inside the domain. This is cool. Lots of colors, but it's still kind of dark. Cute. <laughs> Cute little elf Klee sp Spino blaster. You're telling me to kill boars? No. What is that? That's a weird blend of like a tanuki and a balloon. I like the hat and the sword. Looking cool. No, the clown Doroko bird thing. No, no, no. I don't like that. There's the man. Oh, wait. I'm making the man move. We're going to... Oh, rave, 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 rave. Guys, <laughs> on every scene. Oots, oots, oots. <laughs> Look at her flying away. Oots, 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 oots. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. New quest. Aren't finches the cutest? I assume those are all uh, pre-requisite missions, small quests for um, for the events. Because this is in ten hours. We might do mini games as well. Actually, this time around. I see Yula over here with other Mr. Lawrence. Leave me alone. Someone lying on the ground. Yeah, some other time. Hey, Chief. As a descendant of the illustrious Lawrence Clan, <laughs> I learned many skills during my journey. Uh-huh. For example, baking flatbread. Wow, <laughs> flatbread. I'm more of a fan of, like, the fluffy big bread. Good. This should be just the right amount of heat. Wonderful job. I had no idea you knew how to bake. I thought you'd be the type who'd never get anywhere near the kitchen. Her mouth moves. Ah, I've been meaning to ask you. Is that new? Do you have time later? Could you teach me how to make those delectable snacks of yours? Hey, he's being nice. Oh, uh, but that might take some time. Uh, besides, we're not here to get to know each other as family. Why not? So again, you're worried about our ties within the Lawrence family. Fine. You did just start your sense but by you flexing that you knew how to bake it because you were from there. People. So why don't we learn from each other like regular? Cousins would. I like that their mouths move. That's cool, though. I think that's new. Maybe I've seen them before. I don't know. I like that. Very, very cool. Very neat. Anyone else around here? So we've had a chat with Yula. That means I kind of I missed someone after day one, but that's that's okay. That happens. I think that's everything. That was very cool. Very nice day. Had fun. <laughs> Definitely a lot shorter than yesterday. And I will see you tomorrow with the last part. All right. Hope you enjoyed.
Take care. Hey, how's it going? Yuri, wonderful Yuri gang. Uh, let's get started with the last part of Summer Sir Pretty 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 Pretty. It is this, isn't it? The repair process is almost complete. Once the great wheels turn again and the Valyrium Mirage goes back to normal, the time will come for all the secrets to be revealed. Secrets, you say? Ah, yes. Following morning. That looked very nice. Over Storm Terror's lair over there. Looked very nice. Morning, y'all. Bam. Treehouse Theater. Yeah, yeah, I know it's over there, dude. It's like, it looks nice, you know, and we're not in the Golden App Archipelago anymore, but it... It feels like so much less intricate than last time. You know what I mean? It's so much more casual. Hello? Really? You uh, do that? He spawned in. Oh, but that's too much. I can't. Oh, what? You being like... I'm surprised she's being like this. No, really. It's all right. We want to do everything we can for the domain. Maybe she's just baiting us into doing more work for her. Yes, and to be completely fair, I'm the one who caused this terrible mess in the oh. first place. There you go. The secret was unveiled. He's the one that messed everything up. Oh? What happened? Did my mom miss something? Yes. Hello, you two. Lessig was just telling us what happened. And what is it? Were you cooking banana bread? Perhaps you should allow me to explain. Don't fade to black, because I won't know what's, what's, what's happening. I'm afraid it was I who caused all this trouble in the domain. Yeah, that's as far as we got. <sighs> yes, it was Lessig. <laughs> it sounds like she was the one, and she's like, yeah, 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 oh, no, me? No, 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 I would never make a mess. He is the only reason it could go wrong. To be precise, I saw a most exquisite water orb at the entrance of the domain. Uh -huh. It reminded me of an astrolabe my grandfather gave me when I was seven years old. Mm. I was curious if it could rotate, so I reached out and touched it. I see. Little did I know that it was the core of this entire domain. Oh. <clears throat> what I mean to say is, I knew something was wrong as soon as the whole place started flipping. Upside down, like <laughs> the Prince of Bel Air. So it was the core we were joking about? If you touched that, it would have flipped the thing around? It's not just your fault. I failed in my responsibilities as the caretaker here. <laughs> oh, I knew I should have put the core somewhere more secure. You're kind of a dummy for that. Oh, you mean the big ball of water at the entrance? That we almost touched too, yep. Yes, that's the one. Anyway, after giving it some thought, <laughs> hey, anyway. has offered to perform some more repairs and maintenance to help support the domain. Wonderful. But we were concerned he wouldn't be able to handle it all alone. So Yula and I will also stay here to lend him a hand. Good job. I'm proud of you. But don't be mistaken. I'm not doing this out of the kindness of my heart like Kale. All right. My job is purely to monitor and ensure that Lessig doesn't cause any more trouble here. Mm-hmm. Oh! I believe that. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone's buying that anymore, Yula. I buy it. Though I do remember that Amber mentioned we should just nod and agree when you act like this. Well, what are you doing then? <laughs> the, the silence up to here. <laughs> what is it? I couldn't even skip that. That was the longest, longest silence. Uh, right. Uh, you better not slack off today, Lessig. Oh, that's so convincing. Uh, uh, no, I I'll get right to work. Careful that hill trail. <laughs> Either way, Lessig is going to be in charge of making lunch for everyone today. Wow, that'll give him a chance to redeem himself. I mean, I've seen him cook. It was good. Yes. I'll do my best. Let the no man cook. To worry. What was that? Don't you worry. No, I mean, thanks everyone for giving me a chance to redeem myself. Wow. I can already feel new strength kindled inside me. Ha uh -huh. <laughs> ha. Uh, no, maybe that's just the heat of the oven. Ha ha ha. It's funny. I get it. It's funny. Very good. Uh, but you should conserve Very your strength. Very good. Many parts of the domain are still in disrepair, so we have a lot to investigate. All right, well, let's stop standing Since around. Yeah, has a little more pep in her step after finding others to help do the work. Mm, to help do the work, to just do the work. Now that you three are situated, we can focus on what the rest of us will be doing today. I, for one, will be resting <laughs> as the mascot. <laughs> I'll go gather the others. We should get ready to leave as soon as possible. All right, I'm all for it. Runs away. Yep. Nice. And there she goes. At least she seems to be happy. That's a win. Maybe this is how it feels to be in charge. Because <laughs> you said to the guy one time that he better not mess up. After waiting for a while, you head to the location, the final component, together with Klee, Kaya, Kokomi, whom Idia called over. 
Dreams and first encounters. It's not the first encounter at all. We've been here forever. We've been here for days. We've been here for days. 500 meters to the last area. The Thinker's Theater, which I marked. Klee arc. <laughs> hey, I guess that's kind of right. That was definitely not the Kaya arc, though. Oh, no, wait. Klee arc was the first one. Never mind. And that was the Eula arc. So Kaya arc is the last one. I actually did get everything wrong. That's impressively bad. Impressively bad. Let's get to that waypoint. Nice job. Nice. A little bit big. Here we go. Another waypoint. Where are we going now? Oh. We're going to we almost the there. <laughs> Classic kid. Are we there yet? The director listed on the sign has it. Whoa. Uh, no details slips by our general. Uh-huh. Uh, what's a director? Depends. A director is a kind of job. The one we're looking for is named Zosimos. Zosimos sounds like a Zosimos god name. Responsible for managing everything that happens on the stage. I guess that's one of those Similar things. Similar to how Itia is responsible for managing the whole realm. Uh huh. Wow! Sounds like Miss Idea must be way busier. Mm, right. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Care to comment on that at all, Idea? Shut up, birds. Uh, maybe someone else can explain. I'm just enjoying taking it easy as usual. I'm just enjoying taking it easy, as usual. You wouldn't get it clean, maybe in a few years. Here we go. The director doesn't get out much. He's almost always cooped up in his treehouse making props or oh writing God. scripts. It's the squirrel man. But I'm trying to remember now. Where is that treehouse of his? Probably at the end of the rail. Huh? You don't remember? The star rail. Hey, don't forget. I'm just the mascot. We gave her way too easy of a job. Next time we give her a way more difficult role. I believe it's that way. Yeah, who would have thought? Is this the way that the rail was leading us? What? Uh. Oh yeah, I guess that makes sense, huh? <laughs> Though he might prefer to be alone, given he often has to move stage props, I suspect that he lives near the theater. Nah, that's crazy. That's a crazy conclusion. You can't come to that conclusion. That's wild. And having a view of the entire stage would be useful when imagining a production's actual stage flow. Uh-huh. So if I were him, I'd probably pick a treehouse over there. Yep. But how do you know which direction the theater is in? Well, how about the cluster of buildings? Ah, <sighs> simple. The overall layout and decorations look more exciting in that direction. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, good point! <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? I can't believe- I don't understand. Isn't she, isn't she like the guard, the owner of this whole place? She knows nothing? How old is she? How long has she been here? I don't understand. I'm summoning a cart. Goodbye. Dodoko, look at all the little Dodoko boys in the back. The Dodo fam. <laughs> I'm still grabbing the Mora. I can't help it. This is such a fun mechanic though. I wonder if they're gonna keep it in the game. Probably not, right? Probably not gonna implement these huge rails in full 10. What if they do? Hello. This is actually a squirrel house. Like, no yoke. I don't wanna read that. Maybe it's expiration related. Knock, knock. That is cool. That's so pretty. I like that. Oh my god, it is a squirrel. I was right. Uh where did that blasted automation mechanism go? Huh? The male actor standees are here, but where are the female no, ones? I'm sorry, I, I kept those in my room. Hmm? Uh, uh, who's that? Who's that? Idea? Hello? Yes, Sosimos! Tis I, Idea! <laughs> what the fuck? How's that for a dramatic entrance? What's she doing? I thought she was just a mascot. This is a surprise. I was sure you'd be sleeping, dead, bored, not doing anything. Curled up in a fetal position, crying to yourself? <laughs> wow, what a fascinating little creature. <laughs> did you just read my mind? Yes, in fact, I did. The name's Paimon? And uh, no, Paimon's no mind reader. Just call it an educated guess. Nice flame Paimon. I like when Paimon's more on the flamey side and like aware side than clueless. I like this Paimon more. I, I like the line like, oh yes, I can see the blue skies and seas in your beautiful eyes and that's why I did some divination and saw that you were thinking this. <laughs> it seems everyone shares a similar opinion about you, Idea. Yeah, Idea. Get flamed. I knew from the start that a managerial role wasn't for me. But I found my true calling now, as a mascot! This is gonna end when Klee leaves, you understand? <laughs> Wait, she's still sad. Is there gonna be more emotions as a mascot? No? Why is she sad? Mascot? Is that a new role? Uh-huh. I don't remember casting you for that. Wait, you've cast her? What is she okay, doing? Okay, enough about me. I'm just here to introduce you to some new friends of mine. Is this where Kayat puts on his outfit? Idia introduces everyone to Zosimos and explains and all that happened. that's why we came to see 
you. Well, you have the component that fell out of the central hub. That would be too easy. That would I be do. way too easy. However, yeah. Uh, I'm afraid the incident has caused many malfunctions with the stage mechanisms. Nah. And I can no longer put on any performances. Who are your actors? Okay, so you're holding the component ransom till we help you fix the mechanisms, huh? See, this is what I like. When Paimon is aware. No. Till we fix the stage, surely. Both. I'd have thought he wants us to make All some three. more props, no? Given that some of the standees are missing. Well, we're we're substitutes for the standees. Uh, or maybe the component is broken and we need to fix it. <laughs> I think all of them are true. You're all forgetting that the majority of his work involves writing scripts. <laughs> I'll wager that he wants us to edit them. Just let the man speak. Uh, what has gotten into you all? What sort of person do you take me for? Hmm? <laughs> the component is safe and sound. Uh oh. I can give it to you now if you'd like. Yes, where's the option? Yes. Although I was hoping that maybe you might be willing to. Why are you gonna act help offended? My show? Everyone guessed that you would say this. You're like, how dare you think I would say this? And then you say it anyway. You're a big group. I have lots of roles to fill. It would really speed up the casting. Wow, shocker. Who would have thought? <sighs> a show? <laughs> that sounds fun. Yep, love, love it. Very giggly. No, we have to go. Give the piece. Also, truth be told, I've hit a bit of a roadblock in my script. Ah, classic. And was just thinking about how to move the story forward. Mm -hmm. And then you all showed up. And that is how the story is going to move forward too. Suddenly, I got my muse back. Lovely. I don't know how to explain it, but something about seeing all of you finally helped me figure out how to continue my script. No way. Is it a group of heroes that shows up? Huh? You mean that story you've been stuck on forever? Yes. Are you serious? Yes. You really think you can finish it now? The the key was clear. Alice instructed him. Yes, really. Just give me a little time, and I'll write it all up. In the meantime, I'll leave things to you. To give us the piece, then we can fix the thing, and we come back. Oh, he's gone. Oh, and he's off to write the script. Yep. <sighs> so Simos has always wanted to write an epic story about a thief and a mage. Oh. Apparently, he got the idea from some rumors that were swirling around, but he only got as far as writing the intro before writer's block set in. How ironic that we have a thief and a mage in our party, and they both get skins. Why don't you all take some time for yourselves while I see what I can do? What are you going to we'll try and do? We'll reconvene after the director finishes the script. All right, see you tomorrow. Sometime later, Zosimos flies in a brandishing Wait, flies in a branching stack of something. Everyone is astonished that he finished an entire script in a such a short time. My friends is a storyteller, and the key oh, there you go, Klee. to every good story is inspiration. Mm -hmm. The moment I laid eyes on General Sangonomia, yeah, inspiration hit me for a brand new character. Let me guess, a commander. The heroine was the missing piece of the puzzle. The rest of the story flowed naturally from there, and now it's finished. Ah. Uh -huh. So please take a look through your scripts. And we will tell this story together. I better be allowed to go freestyle. Oh my god. <laughs> These are great. All meme templates. <laughs> well, is everything clear? Yeah. Uh, Director Zosimos, how do you pronounce this word? That is called butts. Let me see. Ah, uh, that's sojourn. It means Soldier. to stay for a while. This is a very cute moment, so let's make sure that comes through in the performance. <laughs> a very cute moment. Oh, wait. There's another word I don't know here. Mm, look at her. She's learning. It's okay, Klee. We can go through your lines together a few more times after this meeting's over. No, I want to see this. This is, quick, this is cute. That would be most appreciated, Kaya. I had a feeling about you, actually. Mm -hmm. You seem to know a thing or two about character acting. Tell me. Have you acted before? Dude, him as a person is a character. He is the act. He's not even being real. I always see Nikaya has been fake. He's a great actor. <laughs> You're too kind. It's all in the script, really. It just rolls off the tongue. Mm -hmm. Oh, you think so? Well, you definitely have a knack for it. I've actually been looking out for someone with your talent. I like this guy. He's nice. He's cute. He's kind. He's yeah. If I make it as a big time director, <laughs> then I can see us working together for the long term. Wow. Be sure to stay in touch, okay? You and I are gonna go places. Give me your number, Bluey. That's what they call each other. They call each other Bluey because they're both blue. What can I say? Sounds good to me. What if it just suddenly there's no more dramatic lore and we just become it just it's a good ending. It's a, it's a it's a cute Disney ending. Great. 
fantastic. Uh, now then, please go through your scripts one more time. Mm -hmm. But don't just read the words. Mm -hmm. Remember my notes. Uh -huh. And really let the character inhabit you. I will be cringe here. I need to have a look at the stage, so I'll leave you to it. I think I have lines. I picked up the paper. I'm going to be cringe. If you need me for anything, I'll be in the big theater, right in the center of this area. All right. Or is this going to be a mini game, perhaps? I wonder what the theaters are like here. The central theater. Let's this is cool. Let's while everyone's still getting ready. Holy moly. Uh, we can climb up. Higher. Hello, guy. I'm freezing your little buddy. I like this travel box. It's such a stereotypical travel box. Why is it so big? Who carries that? Shove me up. <laughs> No, you gonna unlock that for me? I think I'm gonna grab this. I'm not sure if it's instanced or not, so I'd better take the chest. Discriminate by clan. Hey, I've never heard your expiration voice lines. I guess Enkanomiya didn't have them yet. We have to rerun our old expiration characters, because there's new voice lines. Die. Am I even going the right way? <laughs> I just got distracted. I shouldn't have taken that also. It's just, it's not instanced at all. I just walked outside. That's most certainly expiration. Oh. Oh, this thing. Is there no... Is there no... Little star? Give me a clover. Oh, perfect. I've managed to accidentally parkour my way to another waypoint. And now... I think... Is that all of them? It'd be cool if you got, like, limited time achievements, but... Some people would not be happy about that, so I get that they don't do it. Open sesame! Thanks, sesame. Of course there would be a projector. Oh, these little benches are cute. Ah, oh, I can't wait for the final cutscene. <laughs> Hello, good sir. Ah... Uh, where did it go? I put it right here. It's behind you, man. Hey, Zosimos! What you up to? Setting up the stage. Oh, it's you two. Mm-hmm. Please, come here. Feast your eyes on this Feast stage. Feast your eyes. I designed it myself. Impressive. So, directors have to design the stage too? No, I don't have to, but this guy did. <laughs> I'm no ordinary director. I take a more holistic approach. <laughs> Directing, <laughs> Look at face. writing, He's so stage happy. design... I do it all. Acting, imagining, uh, I write the music, I make the stage, I sing the songs, I play the piano, I do your mom. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sounds like a lot of work. Idea wouldn't be able to handle that kind uh, maybe of she job. would, but she just doesn't even try. Idea has her work cut out for her too, you know. Mm -hmm. She's my one and only member of the audience. <laughs> though she often criticizes my shows. She has the gal to sit there and criticize you? Well... She just says what she thinks. Wow. You don't know how to write, or this is getting ridiculous. Uh huh. <laughs> I think it's because I use preprints in a way that she feels goes against what they're intended for. I was wondering about that. I was gonna. Do we have a 2D performance in a second here? But even though she's my harshest critic, she's also been my biggest supporter in a lot of ways. Because she's the only I one. Guess you could say she's like my agent. She's your biggest fan and your biggest hater. I'm very grateful to her. I've always dreamed of being a director. But I've never had the chance until I came here. Uh-huh. So, what did you do before you came here? Oh. Like I said, I dreamed. <laughs> well, you're not from Sumeru then. From a young age, every That's time such a I came home after vague a show, answer. I'd go over the story again and again in my mind. Mm -hmm. Growing up, my biggest aspiration was to be a director. You're a water droplet, right? You're a water droplet, right? Unfortunately, I couldn't offer much beyond my practical skills. So I ended up spending most of my time as a prop designer. Also cool. And doing a bit of set design on the side. I like that though. Don't get me wrong. I do love building the set, but nothing satisfies me more than putting on my very own show. I get that. Recording is more fun than editing. <laughs> no wonder you only wrote director on the sign. Uh-huh. <laughs> exactly. You're not doing a great job of convincing me that you're not a mind reader. She's just a small god. By the way, could I ask you for your help with something? Of course. I'm having trouble finding the master script, and I'll need it shortly. Yep, throw me in. The one you only just finished writing? You lost it already? Actual bum. Yeah, after I handed everyone their copies, I held on to my master copy while I was checking on everything around the theater. <laughs> I must have dropped it somewhere. Oh no. If it's not here, then it might be in the attic. Oh, the attic. These are the only two places I've been since I finished- Oh, writing. there's gonna be monsters in the attic. But- Ugh, I still have some things to do to get the stage ready. Uh-huh. Would you two mind having a look for me? Yeah, of course, champ. No problem. We'll find it. We are- it's so casual, this whole thing. It's, it's- it feels like I'm playing The Sims, honestly. The only thing that makes a difference is that I can understand what he's saying. He's not going like, blue, blah, blue, 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 blue. What? Why did he make me walk to these guys? The fudge? Alright, I'm going to the attic. Good day. Whoa! Look at all these books! Look at all these chicken. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, you tell me, dude. Why does it say lower? You lied to me, game. Gurgle? Oh, sounds like a water droplet is on the second floor. Let's go have a look. I hate it. I was here and then it said lower. Look, it says lower. Game, you cheese me. Hey, little guy. You got something for me? Gurgle. Oh, he's, he's scared. Is he? Wow, this is a lot of scripts. A movie clap. Looks like the water droplet has been managing them for the director. What's the newest one? It's like modern Google. Hmm. Most of them look like works in progress. Okay, well, we're looking for a master script, so... Huh. Then it should be the one that's finished. <laughs> okay, let's look for the thickest one and then check the ending. Uh-huh. This is that the only spoil. script that fits the bill. Spoilers. Plus, it looks pretty new. This must be the master script. We're gonna play a different act. Let's go give it to Director Zosimos. What a what an utterly useless act. <laughs> Zosimos, we got your script. Or did you did you bait us away to do something behind us? Ah, thank you. That's a huge help. Uh, I'm running out of time here. Bro. There's no way I'll be able to fix everything up perfectly. Why you why you make us do this in a hurry? Just have to, anyway, the Oops. stage is secondary. The performance is what really matters. Uh-huh. Things can always go wrong on stage. But as long as the show goes on, the show it should be fine. Must go on. You don't sound very confident in what you're saying. Uh huh. It's true. I realize now. <laughs> it's that true. The show is I'm the not art convinced. Of the unknown. <laughs> Even if you have the same actors performing on the same stage, the performance will be slightly different every time. Uh huh. Those subtle differences are what make each performance special. Shouldn't we just go with what's it called again? Improv. Improv. Uh, Okay, one last request. Traveler, you can enter the preprints. Yes. No, 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 no. The truth is that my sets are composed entirely of preprints. Uh huh. First, I use materials to make the objects. I know what preprints are. Objects and turn them into the preprints. I've been told six times during this quest. <laughs> now, of course, preprints are really meant for making objects to furnish the domain. Mm hmm. So using objects to create preprints is. Strictly speaking, the reverse of what this is intended for. Sure. But Idea said that if this is what I really want to do, she's not going to stand in my way. Hmm. She's pretty kind, at least, it seems. Ah, so that's what you meant earlier. Okay, well, what do you need us to do? She just speaks for me. Paimon's utterly useless. She does nothing except for speak for me. I'd like the traveler to go into the preprint set and help move props around during the performance. Wow, I'm literally going behind the scenes. <laughs> the reason is. <laughs> Laugh at um, my joke. <laughs> Bro. Bro? My jokes. Yeah, you want to watch the show and you want me to not have fun. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> oh, Paimon gets it now. If you're busy directing, moving the props, and operating all the mechanisms, is that all my script was? You never get the chance to watch the show. Move the box a little bit. <laughs> that's, that's what my script said. Yes, I know that I'm no master playwright, but still, uh -huh. even if it really is a half-baked script, with shoddy writing and moments of sheer ridiculousness, I'd still like to see it for myself, just once. <laughs> what, what is the lack of self-confidence, man? You wrote a masterpiece, have faith. Hard to turn a guy down after a speech like that. Yes, I love to help. Thank you. Genuinely, I'm so grateful. Genuinely, I'll like for real. The others. Then, as soon I, as I look ready, so mad. The show can begin. The show can go on. Not but for real though, genuinely. Not even kidding. I'm going in. There's a man. Long, uh -oh. long ago, there was a great thief. He lived in a land where the light did not shine. Where all suffered in the darkness. Uh-huh. People call me. Kaya. I'm sorry, Kaya. Directly into the microphone, please. <laughs> Otherwise your voice will, you know. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> they call me the Dagger Bandit. Yes. But no one sees that I rob the rich and give to the poor. What the heck, the Robin? Dark, evildoers run rampant in the shadows, while the good, honest folk stumble blindly on. Yep. Just trying to find a way through. Uh huh. As the bandit brooded. Oh. Suddenly, the world was inexplicably changed as a single star appeared on the horizon and flew across the sky. Traveler, stomp on that movement mechanism in front of you. Just stand on it, you mean. It's going, whoa, there's a star, one star. What? A brief flash, yet enough to illuminate the world. That was wild. And a princess walking up the top rope. If I can find the source of that light, 
I can shine it into the darkness, and the people will suffer in blindness no longer. So true. Oh my god, a cursor flew through the sky, and Lumine got RKO'd. Oh no. To the next play. Without a moment to spare, he set off to follow the star's course. Uh -huh. All the while, the star kept moving through the sky. It's um, going. Traveler. The star kept I know. moving through the sky. I'm standing there. The star. Whoa, that's crazy. Just it's a shooting star. Make a wish. Bandit, maybe you should have chased it as it was going. You're kind of getting lapped right now. Looks like I Stop have to here. go through the desert. This could get dangerous. Oh my god. If I bet he's gonna he'd find a domain. Was to be believed, the desert ahead was a no man's land filled with horrors. No. We're still. The star had landed in the most difficult to reach location, <gasps> surrounded by sheer cliffs. But he what? was determined to press onward. I've come I'm the this crowd. far, and I'm not about to turn back now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so many stars. And a pretty queen. Wasteland. Yet when he finally arrived at his destination, he found not a fallen star, but a young girl dressed in white. How strange. How strange. I'm positive this is where the star landed. She is the star. Young lady, do you know where the light has gone? Yeah, right here, dude. I'm shaking them. The girl replied. Traveler from afar, the light you seek is Wait. only a bottled flame. But the flame has now died, and its light is long gone. Kokomi? A uh, bottled flame? Yes. Yes. It was a gift from another. World. And so, oh. the girl began to tell the story of how the bottle came into her possession. Interesting. That was it? The girl oh, hailed from say. a kingdom that sat atop the waterfalls. Yeah. But when the reigning dynasty fell and a new one seized power, she and her people fled for their lives. A thick fog began to fill the air as she made her way through the forest. <gasps> and a thorn. And thickets tried to block her path. There but. is a mechanism down there that you can press to retract the thicket board below the stage. <laughs> Whoa! What was the point? I think the person that's in charge of making <laughs> of making summer events is just a big fan of theater. There's always theater involved for some reason in these breaks. If I only had a lamp to guide me through this wretched forest, then I could survive. Or a mage that could burn things with, with fireballs. Covering her arms and legs. The girl pressed through the pain and our made queen. her way forward. Our strong, independent the road queen. Ahead was arduous, but she was determined to press onward. Yes, Psst, traveler, press I F, dude. I've come this far, and I'm not about to turn back now. Yes, queen, slay. I wonder which one I should do first. Probably the top one. Probably the bottom one. Probably both of them. Yes, I feel the emotion but in the story. Just as she was drawing near her destination, a huge stretch of thorns and brambles suddenly came into view. Or nor. Despair set in and began to weigh on her heart. If only someone could help me. I can't. I would give anything in return. Oh no. And she gave the her girl's voice. The heartfelt wish in her moment of desperation did not go unheard. And she became a mermaid. Wait, wait, wait. There's no mechanism for the final thing. Ugh, I must have forgotten to check those Don't worry, doors. I can wiggle the stars. According to the story, those thickets should be gone from the stage now, right? <laughs> yes. Guys. No oversight on my part. Ugh, what a pain. Secret mage, destroy them. Traveler. Watch, see? Bomb. What am I catching? I knew it! <laughs> it's a Let's go, Klee! Holy little champion. The girl's heartfelt wish did not go unheard. <laughs> for a jumpy dumpty who was passing by helped to clear a path for her. He's so excited. Oh, thank you, jumpy dumpty. <laughs> this is a tier acting. This is better than And so the girl continued her journey. I did not hit her. Forest. I did not. But what she found there was not go. a lamp, but a mage glowing with fire. I knew it. So, just to clarify, I'm it was supposed to be the mage who helped burn a path through the thicket. <laughs> Save it for the end, man! Yeah, man. The mage took pity <laughs> on the, the end, man. and handed her a bottle. The mage. Then, 
The mage I mean, the mage's got to be Alice, then. Of how the bottle came into her possession. New scene. The fiery mage had an adventurous spirit and enjoyed taking long journeys. On one such journey, while taking rest in an oasis, she found a beautiful bottle by a crescent-shaped lake. Mm -hmm. Clean, quick, get in the light. Come on, little one. Oh, well, it's no clean. It's beautiful. Mage with the power to grant people their wishes. She turned Coming. the <laughs> of equally extraordinary power. It's but just a picture that you see on the that right, it could make too. Wishes come true it's not even real clean. Of the oh, me. Oh, my. Look at this <laughs> oh, how is she going to pronounce this? Truly. Okay. The fiery mage blew into the bottle, allowing it to grant one single wish outside its glass walls. Whoa. Oh, am I supposed to blow into it? Yeah, do it. Whoa. Whoa it lit up. Uh, you, you're not you, you're not surprised. You planned that. Within the bottle, and it began to glow a fiery red, just like the mage herself. She's not glowing fiery red. She's shadow. Whoa. After the mage finished telling her story. She disappeared, leaving only the bottle behind. Renor. A magic bottle that can grant wishes. Mm hmm And I wish to leave this place. Wow. And go somewhere where no one will ever find me again. Really? And then? The bottle seemed to softly inquire. And then? Equilibrium. <laughs> this is I like, just know. so you don't get bored, huh? The flame in the bottle faded as the girl's single wish was granted. Uh-oh. And she found herself in the middle of the desert. Oh, wow. Far away, where no one could ever find her. It was your wish, after all. Now what? Whoa, desert transition. But there's a boy. When the dagger bandit listened to her story, he sighed in disappointment that the flame with the power to grant wishes <laughs> outside of the bottle had already died. Uh-huh. This doesn't make sense. If it truly granted my wish, then nobody should have been able to find me here. That's true. Maybe they shouldn't. The desert is difficult and dangerous to navigate. Mm -hmm. But I was determined to make it. Marry him. He's a cute bandit. Then take this bottle with you for your trouble. It may be able to grant you your wish. Uh-huh. Though sadly, only within the confines of the bottle itself. Nor. All I wish for is light wow the here you go we we'll start the girl wished for light inside the bottle and sure enough it lit up whoa they found that while the light was only generated within it could nonetheless shine through the glass and reach anywhere in the outside world wish for overflowing mora it will be inside the bottle and Even pop out it doesn't burn as brilliantly as the light that shone before this is still an extraordinary light yes what will you do after I take the bottle? Cry myself to sleep. I don't know. I don't know, dude. <laughs> well, then Good writing. You should come back with me. Ooh. With no reason to refuse. Yes. The girl accompanied the dagger. Yes. Back to the land where the light did not shine. Mm -hmm. They brought light to that place, and the darkness was dispersed. Uh -huh. And they lived happily. Ever after. Conria said place. They lived happily ever after. It is a Disney ending. Yay. Woo. Applause. She's waving. She's excited. It seems the show went pretty well. Uh-huh. Look at our little mage. Eh, hey, little mage. What's up, little mage? Oh, what a cute little backpack. <laughs> That's so cute. You are the fiery mage, Klee. Wow, great costume, Klee. Or is big guy Kai enough? As soon as Paimon saw your shadow, she thought straight away, what a cute hat. Yeah, it's the role you were born to play. Klee loves it. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Zosimo. <laughs> oh, wait, no, I mean, uh, Mr. Director. Yeah? Mr. Director? Oh, he's gonna tear up. <laughs> no one's ever called me that before. Look at that. Thank you. My dear little mage, thank you so much. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm just realizing everyone's dreams in this quest. Miss Dia said that she tailored it a little bit so it would fit me. But you were the one who designed and made it. <laughs> You're amazing. It is cute. Yeah, that's amazing. And it sounds like 
like Adia did a great job too. Wow, Adia doing a good job? It was nothing really. Just one of those, oh no, whatever shall I wear to the ball moments. So Classic moments. Like I have those moments all the time, actually. Every time I go to a ball once every week, it always happens. It's such a shame. Now, she has skills. This is another Disney moment, by the way. Sewing is an art in its own right. Uh-huh, this is true. You're more talented than you give yourself credit for, Adia. Uh-huh. Really? Oh. Uh, I, I'm wow. just gonna go for a second. She's blushing. Please chat amongst yourselves. Uh huh. Don't run. <laughs> she gets embarrassed so easily. Uh huh. She really can't handle being <clears throat> in the spotlight. Where's Kaya? Idea's a sensitive person, and doesn't have a whole lot of self-confidence. Mm hmm I hope all the excitement hasn't brought her to tears. Oh, I'm a little worried. But what if they're happy tears? Don't worry. I'll go make sure she's okay. I'll see you all later. Alright. Bye, Kokomi. Look, she takes her time. So, what did you all think of the play? Any thoughts? I want to hear Klee's thoughts. Huh? Uh-oh. Time to get serious. Now, are you sure you want to hear what we really <laughs> think? Don't knock on it, Paimon. Don't do it. Oh, absolutely. I had the courage to ask, didn't I? So, don't mince your words. Go ahead. Don't Speak mince your mind. words. I can take it. All right, since he's asked for it, it was fucking absolutely abysmally awesome, dude. It was great. I loved it. Okay, time out will go first. So, the dialogue at the beginning was pretty good, but it ran out of steam as the story went on. Sounds like a I Genshin Impact quest. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the characters were honestly a little bit ridiculous. So, the Genshin Impact I again. Get what you were trying to do. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. the theme is over. Yeah, so true. Yes, all very good points, Paimon. I would add that in its She's back to shitting on him already. The series a thousand nights, all semblance of a coherent was sacrificed. Plus, I do have to penalize you for the issues with the props. Wow, hello. You have a lot of knowledge about this, apparently. Miss Idea, what are you doing back here? <laughs> so true, Klee. Oh, you know... I return like the tide when people start discussing something important. <laughs> nah, you theater kid. Huh. Especially when it has to do with criticizing my show. Yeah, you asked for it though. Mm -hmm. But there was one thing I liked about it. Just one, mind you. The story had a good ending. A good ending is the most classic ending ever. It's like the most vanilla ever. It's like either Paimon holds our hand till the end or Paimon is our arc rival at the end. That's like, that's a vanilla ending. It is even harsher than you. I was letting him off lightly. Okay, go ham then. Idea, could I borrow you for a moment? <laughs> if Kokomi literally went to cheer her up, and Idea ran back and, and shot on the other man. Oh, sure. Excuse me for a moment. Back to you, Paimon. <laughs> Keep up the good criticism. <laughs> She's gonna run again? She's so excited. She's running everywhere. Okay. In that case, Paimon did have one other complaint. Where was Paimon's role? Let's hear it. Taking criticism on the chin is all part of being a director. I respect the mindset. The ending was all wrong. The girl's motives were clear and simple the whole way through. <laughs> it was kind of jarring when all she had to say was, I don't know. I don't know, man. And doesn't anyone else find it weird how her whole community was on the run, but she was only looking out for herself the whole time? <laughs> so even the good ending wasn't so good? You okay, man? I'm fine. I'm not going to improve without feedback. You're right. I also learned a lot this time with the chance to be off stage. To be honest, it was a dream come true. Oh my god, was it your wish? What a great attitude. Give us the part, old man. Let us fix that island bottle thing. I wouldn't say I'm completely unaffected. Uh-huh. But you're only speaking the truth. They're all very valid points. I'm glad you think so. Still, now that Paimon thinks about it, you did finish the script in a bit of a rush. Maybe we are being a little too hard on you. I mean, it's not like you're dunking on him to dunk on him. If the points are fair, he's still learning from it. It was ambitious, but it was honest. <laughs> That's perfectly fine. Nothing is as important to me as my work on the stage. Then you should have taken your time. We all use our imaginations when we're kids, right? I used to I mean, play I with dolls in my own cardboard cutouts by the light of an oil lamp. The shadows would come to life and dance on the walls. <laughs> I never got tired of it. Uh huh. Fast forward to now, and in many ways, I'm still that same little kid. Yeah. Lying on his bed, making sound effects, 
Nice. Nice, dude. Of course, I'm happy a for you. Can accomplish nothing without a cast and crew. Yeah. So Can you do a fireball sound effect for me? Hey, don't mention it. We had a blast. Mm, I don't know if blast is the term, but yeah, it was interesting. <laughs> okay. There you Here, go. Take this. Your component, as promised. Thanks, King. It's an oil lamp. Whoa. It's the bottle from the show. The one that lit up when I blew into it. Uh-huh. That's right. Can you guess the secret behind why it lights up? But uh actually, yeah, uh it needed it needed it needed air to burn. The flame was in there already. Um oh, maybe there's an invisible fairy inside that opens its eyes. My bad. That was it. That was it. Uh, bingo! You guessed it. Yeah, I knew it. Oh man, that was my second guess too. That should do the trick. Oh wait, this needs tightening up a little. Hold on, this will only take a second. Uh huh. There's the skin. Hmm, something interesting's going on over there. This outfit's more fashionable than I imagined. I might keep this on back in Mondstadt. <laughs> Excuse me, everyone. Do you have a moment? Especially you, Zosimos. Idea wants to do a little something for you. She says it'll be a dream come true. Wait, but maybe he should have been the one wearing it though. Did Kaya just steal Zosimos' skin? A dream come true? Yes, again, yes. two in one day. She said that as useless as she is, <laughs> she wants to do something for you as the first person to have heard of your dream of being a director. Uh huh. Her words. As useless not mine. as she is. I have to disagree though. I have never thought of Idea as a useless person. Nah, you guys are so cute. Is this suddenly about me? Everything's about you and his quest, dude. Come on. If everybody is ready, then I'd like to invite tonight's male lead to take the stage. Ta-da! Ta-da! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Why am I in shock? Cool! Kaya's turned into the real dagger bandit! Kalina's how to clap so much better than everyone else in Genshin Impact. It's kind of crazy, no? Um, how is me changing outfits supposed to make the director's day? I was worrying about, or wondering about that too. It's just a prototype costume. Is he that easy to please? Apparently. Don't Maybe he designed it. If I know our director, nothing will make him happier than to see his ideas brought to life by the right actor. Date, date, date. <laughs> well then, I'm happy to oblige. If that's as easy as it is. Who am I to argue with the star of the show? Who is the star of the show? You're the star of the show. Zosimos drew up countless designs and made a few prototypes before landing on this one. It just needed some tailoring to fit properly, so I made a few stitches here and there. I hope the result isn't a disappointment. <laughs> Kali's just standing there. Oh, it's perfect. Idea, I... I'm... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm so touched. Thank you all. You've made me happier than I ever thought I could be. Ah, that was cute. That's cute, Zosimos. After seeing his performance for the first time, Zosimos cries tears of joy for a dream come true. How are you doing? Recovered? Oh, I'm good. <laughs> Thank you again, Idea. Oh, please, don't mention it. Don't mention well, it. <laughs> now that we have the final component, it's time to say goodbye for now. Wow, Let's yeah, head true. To the core of the Valuria Mirage and get this place fixed up. Is that really how it ends? Can I keep wearing my costume? <laughs> Yeah, you can. Sure you can. Please do. By all means. Both of you can keep your costumes. It seems only fair. Where's my costume? Yay! Kaya, keep wearing yours too. It looks amazing. Where's my costume? <laughs> I agree with our mage. I'm sure it's not every day you get to play such an unforgettable character. Where her costume? Sure. I think I can be a bandit for a little longer. L. Bye-bye, Mr. Director. Bye. Take care, my dear friends. Take care, you two. Whoa, travel lamp, a lamp with a boy, and, and a the mechanism with the things. Head back to the hub. What you gotta say, dude? Come on. You're going to attempt to repair the core now, right? Yep. I hope it goes smoothly. If it doesn't, we're all in it together, and we're gonna pop in this bottle. It'll be crazy. I feel so honored to have met you all. You were a wonderful cast. Where's my suit, though? Thank you once again. I'm so grateful for everything you have done for me. I'm so grateful for everything you've done for- Hey, wait a second. You've done nothing for me hate it here. I'm leaving. <laughs> a, this is a kilometer, bro. This bottle big. Or nor. I 
I think that we know that song. It was like do 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 do, but a bit different. I forgot the n name is for it. Oh, I well, actually there's a musical term for it, and it, like it retakes the m the same melody essentially, but tweaks it a tiny bit. A klemton? No, that's not it. Damn it, I forgot what it was called. I should have been eating some chop suey. There's a lot of walking. This place is pretty. Look at this. It's gonna be fun to explore. I'm actually looking forward to it. Hey, besties. How's it? Oh, no, I wanted to talk. I wanted to talk. Oh, you and Kare. You got that before us. Look at their fits, dude. Look at their outfits. Yes. Idea had the water droplet send us a message just as the show was coming to an end. So we came back here to wait for you. What idea? Ask them to come watch the show. How is Lessig doing? <laughs> he finished all the maintenance work, but it took a lot out of him. He's now fast asleep in his room. Uh, Klee's such a little animal. Oh, I feel a little guilty. I could have done all that. <laughs> Consider it his atonement. Wow. It's only fair that he has to do something constructive before we'll be hers. able to sleep soundly. Seriously, don't waste your concern on him. Yeah. If you say so. Okay, without further ado, let's go and fix the domain. Yay. Isn't this where we first met Water Droplet? Yes. Correct. The core of the Valerian Mirage is the largest streaming projector of all. And this domain is one gigantic preprint. See, so we actually almost messed with it and I was like, no, but it's actually the core. Whoa, so everything we've seen is created by this? Yes. That's incredible. Mm hmm So to fix it, same process as usual, right? Do we need to use the preprint? Exactly. Okay. Well, exactly. Done. You catch on quick. Wow, Try she reads minds. She's doing it so many times now. She's right. Let's get going. <gasps> this is the final step. Oh my god, Yay! I can't believe it. Suddenly Paimon's really excited. You just wanted to end Paimon. What the hell? Oh, You're right. <laughs> of these components. All you need to do oh is god. place them onto the foundation to and the shape. Uh, Paimon's so excited for it to end. Oops. That spins. Would a water wheel count? Sure. I guess it'll be time for us to leave once this is fixed. Hell no, I got much, much more to do. What's making that shadow? What shadow? What are you on about? I feel like the rope should go from one part to another to connect them together. Are you giving me hints? <laughs> it's literally, it's like a spinner. What is it called? A, um... It's like doing a jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> Wait, this is Zosimos' bottle lamp. It is. Try sticking it in somewhere where there's a gap. And maybe on the right. <laughs> what the hell? Why am I getting so many hints? Place oh, in the way. lower slot. Maybe on the right. Easy one, this on the right. <laughs> Upper slot. This thing. And tie them together with a rope. <laughs> uh, sometimes you have no standards whatsoever. Doody doody. It's definitely the. Um, no, I meant the bottom in the middle, dude. I fixed it, guys. It was wild. It was crazy. We. Did it! But we. Why isn't it turning? You need to light the flame. You need to blow in the bottle. The components are back in the core, and the hub is restored to its proper shape again. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's all we needed to do. Like any wound, it just needs time to heal. Oh. It'll probably just start turning again one day in the middle of the night when no one's looking. There's more to this, isn't there, idea? Really? I thought that with your special abilities... I agree. ...you could get it turning again right away. I'm with him, the guy in the costume. What? Yeah. All of us are dying to see it. Not just how the domain looks when it's fixed, but also Idea and her elements. Yeah, she was trying to hide this from us. I want to see Idea using her magic powers too. I bet they're super awesome. Okay, don't get scared when she becomes a water droplet. Uh, what are you guys talking about? And how is Clean on this, but Paimon isn't? Haven't you noticed, Paimon? They're referring to... Our mascot's true form. Wow, I'm so in shock. As I've said all along, there's much more to Idea than she gives herself credit for. She has a very special power. No way. Though, I think some of us have sensed that already. Well, being lazy? Did you notice right away, I got power general? too, then. I only found out when I was chatting with Eula. So you got told. So our general was the first to notice. It seems like she's more perceptive than she lets on. What do you mean? Have you not followed her whole, whole arc? That's her whole thing, being perceptive. I'd say the same about you, Kaya. Wow, everyone's giving each other compliments. Where's my compliment? What the... All of you know? Yes. I mean, I, I wasn't trying to hide anything from you, I, I promise. Why did you not show it earlier, then? It's just... For people who stumble upon this place by accident, I think my current form is more approachable than my true one. Depends if you can speak. I, I don't want people to get scared when they see me. 
I wondered. What? What is it? And whatever it is, how the heck does everyone know about it? it not very perceptive, Paimon. I thought you were in on this whole quest thing. Uh, well, for one thing, I sensed elemental energy in the residents here. But none of them have visions. Uh huh. Then my mind started to wander as I was reading a storybook. I had a thought. Since hydro idolins can change into any form, why not human form? So true. You hit the nail on the head. With clothes, by the way. All right. In that case, please allow me to introduce myself once more. <laughs> she just speaks like. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Here when the former Hydro Archon passed away. Yeah. My name is Adia. Fair enough, fair enough. An Oceanid then, okay. I mean, to me, I, I thought there was just one and only Oceanid. But that makes sense. Alright, wow. you can speak. Adia, you're so pretty. So pretty. <laughs> now that I'm in my true form, I suddenly feel a little embarrassed talking to you all. It's probably because you don't have any clothes on. You look stunning. You should be flaunting this look at every opportunity. <laughs> Slay it, queen. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm too shy. It actually is cool, though. So does this mean that all the people we met in here are actually... Yes, even you and I, Paimon. This is the lore of Genshin Impact. We're all water. 80% water. Guessing that the human counterparts to these Hydro Alter Egos are long gone. Yep. That's right. When they wanted to leave... I took them to the edge of the desert. Wow. The components are, in fact, gifts that they gave to me before they left. Wow. But I'm always curious about what brings people here. So I used the streaming projector to bring their wishes to life. So cute. A power to grant wishes, but only within the confines of the bottle. That, that's cool. We'll say, that's really cool. Exactly. It's a truly extraordinary light. Yeah. I've just realized something. When the components fell from the core, it appeared as if they had returned to their respective owners. But actually... But actually... It was after the components landed where they did that their owners and the things associated with them arose around them to form the different zones. Mm -hmm. So now that the components have been retrieved, does that mean that all those things are gone? No. Don't worry. They'll be quite safe. As long as I remember them, they'll never disappear. Let's go. We can still However explore. Much we might criticize each other or get into scuffles. In this mirage, they will always be my friends. But now I'm tired. I need to rest. <laughs> I had so much fun in the choo choo cart and hanging out with Mr. Director. I'll never forget them either. Cute. Me neither. I'll always remember my adventures in this fantasy land. I probably won't. <laughs> Very good. But it's probably time I set this wheel in motion. Do it. This one's all yours, Adia. Our magical mascot. Our magical mascot. <laughs> Please work. Paimon didn't even seem that shocked. Backflip. Do a flip. <laughs> you playing tennis or what's going on here? Is not working yet. Huh? Strange. <laughs> Nothing happened. Has it lost some power because of the incident? Nah, patience. Oh, crumbs. Crud. Not, now. not right off the back of everyone putting me on a pedestal. Uh huh. And me acting like this is going to be my big moment. <laughs> the accelerating crescendo peaking voice. <laughs> <laughs> Stop being like this, Adia. Uh, you're already in a bottle. Yeah, she's right. What now? This was the only way. Now I'll never be able to show you how the Valerian Mirage is supposed to look. <laughs> Quit whining. Stop crying, you cyclops. Hold on. I have an idea. Mm hmm. Yes, General Sangonomia. I'm all ears. Where are your ears, speaking of? Okay with you. Would you let me borrow the Shinro casket from the domain's core? Oh my god. Ah, the Shinro casket. That sounds familiar. One second. That's what she came here for. That's that artifact. Here. 
Is this it? Run, run, go, go me! Wow, a huge shell! Yes, yeah, that artifact she was on about. It's the relic that Kokomi mentioned earlier. Yeah. So this is where it's been hiding. Is this breaking it? It was once a ritual vessel used for making offerings in the Moon Shrine. The Moon Shrine. It's made from the remains of a yokai called the Shinkiro. Okay. And it can listen to the wishes of those who come to pray to build up Shinki, which gives it its power. Ah yes, the Bokuso box. <laughs> Several centuries ago, the relic was lost when the last prefect of Yashiori died in battle. Its final resting place was unknown. Interesting. The pearl that goes with it should be able to sense the casket's location. But when, unbeknownst to anyone at the time, yeah. the casket disappeared inside the core of the Valyria Mirage, the pearl's light died out. Oh my god, the pearl is the light in the bottle. Huh? Oh my god. How come? Uh, it needs to be aware that people need to be aware of its existence for it to glow. Well... Imagine it was a sound instead of light. If the room is too big, you can't hear anything from outside the door, can you? Well, if it echoes hard enough. <laughs> oh, I get it now. The shell must have been having too much fun one day. Yep. And got locked in the solitary confinement room. Ma, well, I've never been there, because I'm a good guy. I'm a good boy, Klee. I don't go there. I'm a good girl, Klee. The core has been wearing out recently. <laughs> You were able to follow the pearl all the way here. Yes. Sounds just like my treasure compasses. Hey, that's it, dude. Exploration. I know, dude. To get back to the story. Without the offerings at the shrine, this vessel quickly loses its power. Uh-huh. Yet countless people who have visited this domain brought their wishes with them and left a small piece of themselves behind along with their gifts. Mm-hmm. These have the same effect as the offerings at the shrine. So we need to leave a gift behind, you say? Wow. I never knew this thing was so powerful. How can this 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 a hydro thing sometimes look and feel so smart and sometimes look and feel so stupid? It is powerful enough to help you repair the Valeria Mirage with any luck. Okay. But what do I do with it? It needs a gift. It's simple. We just need to awaken it by telling it what we wish for. We wish for everyone to be happy. We wish for this quest to end. For example, <laughs> my name is Sangonomiya Kokomi, the divine priestess of Watatsumi Island. Uh huh. And my wish is to use my critical thinking <laughs> and strategic planning skills to bring a little more joy into the lives of my fellow Watatsumi Islanders uh -huh. as well as the lives of everyone I cherish. Why Why not just everyone? Itia, what do you wish for? What do you wish for? Me? I... Yeah? My wish is that all those who have sojourned to the Valuria Mirage in the past will achieve what they truly wish for. Whoa. Not just in this domain, but out there too. Let's go. I've been in the mirage, so my what I wish for will come true. Even though I know full well I'm that so trying happy. to build a railway in the outside world is just a pipe dream, Aww. and that Maimuna will probably just go back to being a scholar. Foreshadowing. Railway outside the bottle. And I know that Zosimos has a lot of improving to do as a playwright. It's going to be tough for him back in it's... Valentine. <laughs> Chasing your dreams is hard work. I know. Despite. Yeah. That somehow, someday, they will achieve their dreams. That's pretty cute. That's pretty cute. Cutscene moment. Thanks for the wish, idiot. They weren't even paying attention to that dialogue. They were just chatting together. Why was no one listening to her? Were we the only ones? It's okay. so smooth and cute. The combined power of our hopes and dreams is at your disposal. <laughs> Look at Klee. <laughs> hmm. Whoa. <laughs> the bros. The student. The play make right dude. Whoa, she looks so happy here. Is that one eye gonna tear up? What did she do? <laughs> K 
could have killed someone. She just needed self-confidence. Huh? He's making a railway, I bet. Look! The wheel's been fixed! Wait, they are still here, the memories. Oh, never mind. I thought they were in the real world making one. This is such a cool shot, by the way. Do you think real them? Real them get like some kind of emotion from it? They're like, wow, I feel like something big just happened. It's literally like, it's a flax spinner, whatever it's called. Like a spinning wheel. Music is cute. She doesn't seem that happy though. <laughs> She's like, damn, you guys are gonna leave too every time I have a good time. No, 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 back to not normal. You're right? Everyone's praise and curious questions went to my head. I said so many things I'm so ashamed of, and I. I lost the courage to live on. Mm. Please don't say that. Yeah. Yours was a noble wish. Was it a lie? Yeah. And you weren't granting wishes for yourself. You did it for other people. So sweet. I have friends like that too. Other people's hopes and dreams are what motivate them. They'll work tirelessly just to see them smile. Yeah. If you ask me, that's one of the most noble things a person can aspire to. Sure. Please, no more praise. I, I'm really not blush, comfortable blush, with it. Blush, blush, blush. It makes me feel so ashamed. Blush. Someone like me doesn't deserve so many people's praise. It's like I'm dreaming. Well, you could have made mistakes in the past, but if you do good things now, you can still get praise for them. Well, at least the domain is fixed now, and all the components are back in place. So anyway, see ya. <laughs> you look good stay here. She already has blue hair. Mm. Yeah. What's the matter, Klee? Do you think people in the future here will see blue-haired Klee? Blue-haired Lumine? I suddenly have loads and loads of more wishes. <laughs> I want to ride the choo-choo car again and look down from up on top of the big wheel. Of course. Is there a way to get up on top of the wheel, idea? There is a way, but there's only space for a very few people. Fine. I'll sit on the sidelines again. That's okay. I can go up by myself. Oh? But it'd be more fun with Miss Honorary Knight. Me? How come you pick me, Klee? I shall not leave your side, my lady. Are we sure about this? So high. Leave me alone, Paimon. I want to hang out with Klee one time. What happens if we fall off? What do you mean, we? You're not coming with. Well, yeah, but Paimon's just worried for you. Don't care. Don't worry. I'll be there to make sure no one falls off. I haven't been up there in a long time myself. Let's go. You and me, Klee. No Paimon. I'm so excited for no Paimon. In Fontaine, you can bench Paimon in a new interface. And you can have another different chibi character floating by you. Such as Klee. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello there. Get on the wheel central hub. How does one do that? Like this? It's a... Oh, it's a... It's a Ferris wheel. I really did this the animal way. I'm not sure if that was the intent. Well, it's a Ferris wheel. It's so... It's so pretty and wonderful. It's like, can you take a picture? We're moving. Wow, that's unusual. I haven't had that happen before, I don't think. Usually when you're in a movement, you can't take a picture. Look at this. This looks amazing. She's shy and sit in front of this beautiful castle. This is very pretty, though. This is almost as pretty as the official domain. There's not much more to see. Idea, next time you need to bring Kaya and the others up What's here. she on about not much space? <laughs> sure thing. There could be 12 people on this thing. We're almost there. We're almost to the top. I can't believe it. Oh, no. I don't want to grab that. No, no, no. That's for another day. Oh, almost. Almost got me. Wow. Okay. Nighttime would have been cooler. Whenever people have to leave this domain, I like to come up here and spend some time alone after I've seen them out. Yeah. Makes sense. They're always overjoyed when they first arrive. This and is so start unsafe. Bringing their imaginations to life. Uh huh. But once they realize that they can't take anything home with them, they get upset. Nerds. Some of them can't bear to leave. Others regret ever setting foot in this place. 
You know what they don't understand? They don't understand that everything we get from this place is the friends we make along the way. I remember I rode one of these Ferris wheels when I was very little with my cousin, and I got very sick. Like, I was very young. I was like three years old or something. <laughs> and I got very sick. I turned very pale. Um, and my cousin just screamed down, Stop the machine! <laughs> my cousin's getting sick! I always remember that when I look at the Ferris wheels. I don't think I- I don't know if I was scared of heights or something. I was uncomfortable at the time anyway. It was a cute memory. Do you ever get sad, Idea? Everyone does. I feel lonely at times, but not sad. I don't believe that. A lot of people destroy everything they created before leaving, but some don't, like the residents you met. They salty. Before they left, they asked me to make replicas of themselves using Hydro Idolans. Interesting. Then they tasked these replicas with maintaining everything they built here. Ah. As if this was their way of keeping their dreams alive. That's kind of cool. That's, That's how it works. Beautiful. Interesting. Yeah. I don't know how they're faring in the outside world, but... We're gonna meet the them, for sure. That one day, they might achieve their dreams and live on the outside just as their counterparts do in here... That's enough to make me happy. We are definitely going to see a couple of them in Fontaine. There has it to be. It feels like I'm here waiting for them in the future, where they've achieved everything they wanted. You're nice. Uh, really? Ah, <laughs> psych. I just think that every dream, every wish, is like a flame in a bottle. Uh-huh. Whether someone is still working towards their dream or living it already. I'm going to, I'm going <laughs> to, maybe I'm scared of heights. As long as whenever they think back to that spark of light within them, it still makes them smile fondly. Mm -hmm. That's all it takes. Sure. Well, I feel super happy right now. <laughs> <laughs> then I guess I finally paid Alice back after all these years. Funny to think I've been in the middle of a desert this whole time. It's just a giant muddy swamp to me. Hmm. Time for Paimon to give you a nickname! <gasps> Mudberry! That Watch is... out for Idea the Mudberry! <laughs> that is not nice. How dare you mock me! Roar! I'll gobble you up in one mouthful! Not very emergency food <laughs> reference. I'm still embarrassed to have shown you my uglier side. Uglier? But I'm glad is that being lazy? Mirage is up and running again. This place and is crying? going to be bustling with activity again soon enough. I hope you'll take some time to enjoy yourselves. No. We're going. Goodbye. Yep. I want to get everyone together. No. For one last ride on the choo-choo cart. No, of course. Of course. Dreams and First Encounters Secret Summer Part 3 complete. Look at that. What an ending. What an ending. Well then, friends. Let's uh, do an outro. Maybe I can find the characters, but I'll record an outro here because it's cool and pretty. Hey. I hope you enjoyed today's, or this year's, I should say, limited time summer quest. I think it was pretty cool. I do think last year's was a bit more involved, but I think the focus shifted from an interesting story to an interesting area, and I definitely, definitely feel that. So, very excited to explore it, and I am I'm pretty happy with the story. It wasn't too dragged out last year. I obviously did it wrong, but that's okay. We learn from our mistakes, right? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.